Damn, Gary, some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code NerdRotic. I learned a long time ago that there's no sense getting all riled up every time a bunch of idiots give you a hard time. In the end, the universe tends to unfold as it should. Plus, I have a really large penis. That keeps me happy. I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Tobey Maguire's dick. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob. Do you want to take a life? Do you want to cross that line? Because it's a long way back from hell. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. delayed applause there let's do it again i had the, the applause volume was down for some reason let's get it up there let's go let's do it welcome oh, this is chest day oh flies oh. How, how are your teats feeling oh they're sore today <laughs> oh i wrecked my titty bags last night it did yeah oh. Yeah, that's what your boyfriend said too. It, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, as... <laughs> yeah that is so on PC. I hope so. He identifies as a woman. Uh, oh, your, your boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend is, but I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real. BBC, you don't need to defund us because we're not trying to push the woke agenda. We're just bagging, boarding, and chatting. Although I have no comics to bag, but I do have something rad to show you. And it's fantastic Ooh. for it. Something fantastic Ooh. for. And we can talk about uh, who uh, a little later, this is called a tease, who the cast is probably going to be because I think we know. I think we oh, know. Oh, is that right? Yeah. 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 No, I'm, oh, yeah. I can tell right now I'm probably going to hate it. You're going to hate, uh, you, uh, you're going to hate one thing. You're gonna hate. Yeah. You're gonna hate one thing. The rest of the cast, not bad. Okay. All right. Not bad. We shall see. Yeah, we shall see later. Uh, I've actually oh, just optimistic on the casting. Yeah, I've known for a couple of weeks, but I'm just gonna throw the picture up there. I don't care. Uh, so, uh, hello, As. How you doing? Hi. I'm good. Uh, I'm the only one who realized it was fucking Christmas. <coughs> this is my Christmas what? outfit. What do you mean? Molly, you don't even have you don't even have your Christmas image up. Not even your Christmas. <gasps> yeah, image yeah. Up. Where is your Mahler Christmas yeah. avatar? I am really so disappointed. Judging. I can't. Not my fault. Streamyard sucks, and it only allows me to have like one avatar and then one on backup, which I think was the original oh. one I haven't even uploaded. Really? I can have guns. Wait, I have like are, are, wait, wait. Ten, fifteen. But I haven't. You're, you're have you guys paid for it? I haven't paid for it. You're, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got it. Yeah. Well, 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 you're incapable of uploading and replacing it, and like maybe replacing it back later. Is that? hard for you 
No, it gets all fucky and weird. I used to do it like every year for all the holidays. It got annoying, so I stopped doing it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of hard for me, Graham Nolan's on the show today. Yes. <laughs> oh, we were getting there. Do, do you have to associate my name with that? <laughs> no, Graham's not gay, but his boyfriend is. His yeah. husband oh, my boyfriend is. is. His husband yeah, is. There's a lot of there's a lot of ladies and dudes who who like Daddy Graham. So especially with his. <laughs> oh my God! Is his, that what they call you? Muscles. Yeah, they call him Daddy Graham. Is that right? I yeah, haven't heard that. Yeah. Great. There you go, Gary Nazi. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Now yes! you're more than Gary. Yes! Now you can rip Gary. Fuck that. I got you a tree. tree. Okay. I got a real fake tree. Okay. A real fake tree. I got a real well, fake tree behind me. Though, is, is X-Ray girl because she's only got a hole of the North Pole behind her. <laughs> I, I actually, there's snow outside right now. I'm so excited. Ooh. Okay, so why no. didn't you dress like an elf, a Christmas elf? What's wrong uh, with you? I have I have red shorts on, but if I stand up, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think we, people yeah. are going to cope in the chat. Yeah, the, the, I think they'll be fine. The chat. Uh, yeah, we don't want to hurt the chat today. Okay, so they might. Yeah, so, sorry, chat. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to so, think about you. Well, guys. I mean, honestly, we'll just see a dip in viewership for 38 seconds, and then you know. What? On. Yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, chat. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Hi, Mauler. Hello. I'm in a good mood, but a tired mood because mm. Gary, it was as of this morning that the video finished processing and it has indeed cleared for copyright and for monetization. The double whammy. Yay, Beautiful. I'm so happy. You swear a whole bunch in it, and apparently that's okay. You never know with these systems. Be out tomorrow, probably around this time, actually. He'll be starting Ooh. up. So, um, yeah, and it'll run for eight hours. Eight, Eight hours. hours, and yeah, I may as well just say Gary is there for all of it. Yes, every last second. Talking Lord of the Rings. Very sorry to get out on Saturday, but it is now ready to go. I'll be excited. Uh, on during one recording, I was like, I had like two hours sleep, <laughs> <laughs> but but I made it. <laughs> but I made it. Thanks for well, having me on. It was tons of fun, dude. It was it was awesome, and I hope the the viewers will have to let us know how seamless it is because it's a selection of i think six or seven recordings all been <laughs> how hobbled together sort of so it's like yeah we did our best to make it seem like it's a nice and straightforward experience which i think it works that way because yeah. we know lord of the rings it's great stuff and also hey we did the lord of the Rings stream uh on sunday everyone should check that out as well yeah a lot of great feedback on that that was tons of fun as well uh did you not, know i am um, did not I play to go four in. hours <laughs> What um what I said about Barmia, what Drinker said about Gandalf, and what you said about Theoden, all all those are in the video now. Oh, right on. So Sweet. you'll see them, the stream cameos. Uh and it was it was Bernard Hill's birthday on the twentieth mm. anniversary. Mm. Everything was just lined up and cool. Everything. And that was uh we had eighty five hundred people watching us on that stream. That was uh something else. R and B came wow. in and then R and B left and then Drinker came in and it was like yeah, yeah George was there, our boy wow. George. Uh, boy George was there. Boy George was there. I love yeah. this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a come a come a come a come a chameleon. It's it's really difficult why uh, to believe why so many people think you're gay. Erasure is on your playlist. <laughs> you love Boy George. George Michael yeah. is like your jam. I mean, uh, yeah. your, your dance moves. Pet shop. Okay, I like the pet shop boys. I like the pet shop boys. Pumping this way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mimic it in case. Uh, I don't. I don't have to prove shit. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Not at all. We all, we're convinced. <laughs> uh, you know who's not gay? Graham Nolan, comic book yeah. legend. Yeah. <laughs> but it would be okay if he was. But he's not. We would be fine with this. This is a no judgment zone. No judgment zone. <laughs> Apart from when we judge you constantly. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> except for the judging part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back, Graham. Thanks oh, for coming it's a on. pleasure to hang with you, boys and girl. Yep. D by the way, did you hear like X Ray Girl swallow that freaking coffee Wait, while Mahler was talking? Whoa. You could girl swallows. You do oh my god! <laughs> there was a. Face the... To the girls, I'm like, what did I swallow? I don't it know. It is Christmas. 
<laughs> no. God. While Mala was talking, there's this huge gulp, and I heard it. I don't know you if anybody it? else heard, oh it. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, what the hell? Uh, ASMR, clearly. Um, <laughs> Graham, time. what's going on in your world, dude? Well, I'm busy uh, fulfilling Ghost of Matacumba Key. Getting, I got the files at the printer. Um, I should have the uh, uh, proof sometime later this week, I'm hoping. Um, and then once they're approved, they'll uh, start the printing process. And, you know, I still got, I'm, I'm working on commissions right now that were part of it. Um, in fact, uh, as has a, a head sketch, uh, that I'll be working on later today. <laughs> uh, so basically getting all that stuff tied up because those campaigns, are, this one's a complicated one. I got a lot of crap that I got to get through. So I've just been working on that kind of stuff and thinking about next campaigns and, and what, what I'm going to do, but I can't do any of that till I begin fulfillment on this one. So, so no, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, res respect. I, I was talking to my publisher oh, yesterday. It's a great erasure song, that is. Yeah, Give that's the one I know. <laughs> oh, my God. My ears. Uh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to go oh, now. Hey, what that's the, the show, folks. Yeah, Bye. <laughs> No, I respect to you, Graham, because I, I talked to my publisher yesterday about fulfillment and like what we're gonna. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I like, I just wanted to quit. I'm like, what? I don't want to do this anymore. But um, we're gonna do it, of course. Uh, but they, like, they are all, they, they, they don't. Yeah, they, without getting into details, they're not familiar with the new processes out there. So they're like, oh, we'll just print to order. I'm like, no, <laughs> right. no, hell yeah. no, oh, no way. Uh, so <laughs> no, we're going to have to figure that out somehow, but we will. It's no problem. Definitely overprint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely oh, yeah. overprint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your per page count goes down, your profit margin goes up, and then you'll have them to sell on your store and conventions and everything else. That's what we're, that's the plan. They just yeah. got to, they have to get with it uh, or not. That's okay. 20%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because because the, the other percentage was not very good at all. I uh, she she the lady couldn't even tell me, and then when we found out, I'm like, ah, uh, no, we're not doing it that way. Really? Yeah, yeah it's it's they wanted to print less than twenty percent. No, no, over? well, no, they oh. they all the, 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 the talking about the profit margins on the, oh. the print to order. It, it would all oh. it would all go to fucking like Amazon and Barnes and oh, Noble. Yeah. yeah, fuck you. Um, no way. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Oh so, yeah, yeah, no way. Uh, unless every every order shot a message to Amazon saying the rings of power sucks, then I might think about it. I'd be okay with it, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, but thanks for being here. You're we have welcome. a lot. To, we have a lot to talk about. Of course, one of the reasons you're here is we are going to talk about Godzilla minus one later on in the show. Cause we love it. Uh, mm -hmm. But of course, pretty big news happened yesterday. Jonathan majors uh, found guilty Fired by Marvel. Marvel's a dumpster fire. It perfectly ends their disastrous year of complete shit. And uh, and then we'll talk about that fantastic forecasting and other things as well. Hello. What, people? Exodus. Goo. Hello. Ooh. I'm so excited for Christmas. It's like six days away, and I, I, I just love the holidays. And I get to spend it with you guys. Aw. That is great, isn't it? <gasps> mm -hmm. oh we God. are pretty cool. <laughs> look, look. Shame works. Look at this avatar. Yes. Oh, yes. Up, oh. He did that, he did he that did like, like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pointing it out because I haven't Jeez. looked at the screen yet. Shame. I'm so blonde, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I know. I should just dye my hair blonde if it didn't fry it. So. Uh, bimbo it power. A wig. Well, a wig. my wife could dye your hair blonde without firing. Uh, frying it. Ooh. Oh, I, she's well, a professional. I did say, I did say, maybe during fulfillment, I'll come down. All right. And get my hair did and organize his comics, or I mean, read his comics. He'll yeah, whatever, me whatever. Pile of boxes. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm getting Kara and you to come over and catalog my comic. Like. No, no, no. Don't be okay. You swipe enough of my people already for your fucking video games. My not, people. My fucking people. Hell. My people. Pharaoh, Fuck you. Let my people go. No. No, I am the king of kings. I love how you're claiming Kara. <laughs> yes. King of kings. That's pretty cool. Look yeah. upon my works, yeah. ye mighty, and despair. And Stop despair, taking my yeah. fucking people. Uh, <laughs> 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 
know what I do, Gary? Do you know what I do? You see, I take your peep your people. Yeah. Un unbelievable that you would phrase them like that. And I make them play video games for fun. Yeah. You when you they could be the working. Whip. When they could be working, <laughs> making money. You're taking food off of their table. That's what you're doing with your little oh, yeah, so they're still stuff. Right fun. Right now, you need to work for your food. <laughs> How much value can you put on fun, Gary? It's priceless. Uh I have fun every day. Uh, yeah, I'd say ten, yeah, 10, ten, 15, ten, yeah. no, ten pence. <laughs> Depends on the How fun. much is ten pence in American coin, Gary? Fucking 10 cents? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be my guess. No, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Wait, no. 10 pence would probably be like uh, 20 cents, right? 25. Yeah, about, six, yeah. about 15 cents. Hey, what, what's a quid? A uh, quid is slang for a pound. For a buck. Oh, it's like a buck. Right? Like yeah. 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 It's slang for a pound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So if it's 10 quid, 10 pounds. Uh, yeah, is, is Bob your uncle? Uh, and Fanny, Fanny's my aunt. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. How's your uncle Funny's my aunt? Mm -hmm. How's your uncle Funny's your aunt? And he is, I never understood and that. And he's a bell end. So there you go. <laughs> the the end of the Graham bell. is definitely not a bell end. No. No. You not. are, however. Uh, yeah. Never said I wasn't. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get to uh, Jonathan Majors. Uh, where, where, where we go? Jonathan oh, CBR article. Loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, like, we can also talk. I did a video on it, but, like, later on we can discuss. Uh, I'd love to hear what Graham thinks of uh, the American Society of. Uh... Oh, wait, I could. You know Where's what? Garrett? No, I we have. We need a sound clip. I have him. Eric's clip. I can get Eric's clip. So I'll, oh. I'll get that ready for later. <laughs> I want to. Okay. I called Eric at 10, 10 o'clock at night. This is why I didn't call you, Az, because I, I was going to call Az and have Az do an insert, too, for a joke, but it was 5 in the morning, and I didn't have enough time. But, like, I'm all, I text Eric. I'm like, hey, you, you back? He's all, yeah. I really need you to say the word Negro for me. <laughs> 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 and then I'm like, wow, that probably sounded really racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Eric just laughs and says, of course. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Uh, he's all, I got you. And he did it. It was great. All right. I was uh, I was waiting for the final one to be Eric just saying a hard, a hard. Uh, I have, I have an option was, for you. You for know, now. what was that? There you go. Wow. It's, it's, it's black and Spanish. It's negro. Negro. Oh my gosh. Negro. Negro. Going to get canceled any second now. Oh, I speak in Spanish. Any second now. I speak of the Spanish. Uh, three, two, one, cancel. Donde esta el baño? He keeps doing it. Yeah. Magical Negroes. <laughs> hey, uh, well, <laughs> I was going to transition. <laughs> this ain't, it ain't so magical for Jonathan Majors. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His magic ran out. No, I, was, I can't do it. <laughs> I was gonna. I was do gonna it, do, Gary, it. do it. No, no. You know what he told his girlfriend with two black eyes? <laughs> Nothing you hadn't told her twice. It's already there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was your super funny joke. Everyone's heard that like ten thousand times, Gary. <laughs> I knew that as a kid. That was a joke we used to tell as a kid. I know. Why'd you tell a woman with two black eyes? Nothing you haven't already told her twice. Oh, Wesley says that, Angel. He do oh, do wow! Okay. okay, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm watching Buffy and Angel, and they're dropping uh, uh, the hard retard. F for gay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Art, retard. I mean, they... they yeah, it was a different time. <laughs> oh, it's a better well, time. Call somebody it a was retard, a better time. She does. She does. Right. And, th and then Wesley just did it in Angel with that girlfriend that just showed up out of nowhere at his house. Uh, the ginger one? Yeah, after the... <laughs> after, they just went, sup, baguette? After they got fired. Maybe they <laughs> met her before. I'm not remembering it, even though I've watched everything up to then. All of a sudden, like, he's got this girlfriend living with him. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. She's... she's she, she, uh, remember the episode is really good where he pretends to be Angel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's she's from that. Him. All right. 
But she's all familiar. She's like, I know everything. I'm like, what the? F- what? Yeah, we're supposed to believe they've had a relationship between all those two <laughs> between episodes. Between all those two episodes, it's like <laughs> they've been together for five years. You know, it's like yeah. what? Uh, okay, back to this. Uh, Avengers: The King Dynasty will be retitled after Jonathan Majors firing. <laughs> so. Uh, so due to the Jonathan Majors firing Avengers, the King Dynasty. Well, yeah, weird. All right. So uh, his court case, he uh, a couple of charges were dismissed. He was found guilty on a couple of more charges. A lot of people thought the video exonerated him. We obviously didn't see what happened before and after that video. Um, I mean, I guess the disclaimer, it, it was obviously a toxic relationship. She probably did some bad shit to uh, him, too. And this is the unfairness unfairness of the justice system that they're going to like, uh, even though she she probably hit him. Doesn't matter. Uh, she wasn't on trial. He was. That's unfortunately the way things go, because uh, women uh, aren't equal. Uh, women are treated a lot better in, in certain cases like court and in divorce court and when being sentenced to prison for crimes uh they they get a lot lighter they get a lot lighter uh touch from the american justice system and it's not equal when they diddle kids they don't get as much time as a dude you know it's like considered completely okay when they should go up against the wall too whoops shouldn't have said that oh well um and uh so that i want to make that clear but they found him guilty and uh marvel showed more patience to him than they showed to Gina Carano. Uh, and I have to agree with everybody on Twitter. Ezra Miller should be in fucking jail, too. That guy should be in jail. Like, for yes. one, one of the it crimes he committed, I went to jail for. That's the exact crime I went to jail for. Uh, mm-hmm. One of one of them. Let's be fair. There was a couple more, too. But um, uh, There's a couple more. There was a couple what, more. Making, starring in The Flash. Yes, I starred in The Flash. And... <laughs> Crime I'm never one. forgiven for that. That's crime one. <laughs> so I agree with like everybody pointing out Ezra Miller and Jonathan Majors is correct. And uh, Ezra Miller did not go to jail because he identified as uh, non-binary. By the way, you know he changed his pronouns back to he, him recently. Yes. Because he's, str- he's a guy. Because he's a straight dude and always yeah. has been. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, except for the producers that boinked him, uh, that yeah. he let boink them <laughs> to get a yeah. job, but he he likes women. Hey, you know when you cast a, an actor to play The Flash, maybe you should cast a guy who can run. Uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, he he's like. <laughs> I know. No, the producers like, like we took the piss out of people the, running yeah. at school. Was that his idea acting. though, or Zack Snyder's? I can't remember. No, th- he, that's how he runs. That's just yeah. how he runs. That's how they he runs. That? They accepted that and, and because uh, the Hollywood producers who boinked him said he's the perfect Flash. And they're like, he can't run, but he can do something else. <laughs> really good. Perfect he can suck a run. golf ball through a 12-foot hose pipe. <laughs> His ass runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Extra spicy this morning. Extra spicy this morning. It's the eggnog. Yeah, that's it. Early. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, sun is uh, coming. Not as hot as Ezra Miller's, but there you go. On Monday, uh, former actor uh, Jonathan Majors has, uh, was found guilty on charges of assault and harassment after going to trial over domestic violence allegations. It was confirmed by Marvel Studios that Marvel Mar- Majors has officially been let go from his role as Kang as a result. In the wake of the news, the Hollywood Reporter reported that the Avengers the Kang Dynasty also lost its title. Mm. Um, no. I, I don't I, I think they'll scrap the movie. Nobody cares. Yeah. Uh, initially the project is now said to be referred to simply as Avengers 5 for the time being until a new title will eventually be Decided upon. I don't give a shit. You can take the art. The problem with that film isn't Kang, isn't Jonathan Majors being found guilty, whatever he was guilty of. That nobody gives a fuck because of who the Avengers are going to be. It's going to be a bunch of fucking Z list nobodies who nobody's gone to watch their movies and nobody gives a shit about. Kang's the least fucking worst thing about that project. Marvel are fucked. Oh, yeah. Kang fucked. Why didn't they put cool makeup on him to make him look like the the Kirby Kang? Instead, every every picture I see, this guy looks like he's crying. Yeah, you know, mm. they, they've got those things, and it looks mm. like he's crying in every picture. So, like, they did it a couple of times in Ant Man, right, where they mm. had the shield come over his face, yeah, so it made right. it look 
purple, blue, yeah, uh, bluish purple, whatever, and uh, and and it kind of looked like Kang, but that that's the most we get. And remember, Graham, I, I know you do, but I'm talking to the audience. Uh, when Marvel took over, it was supposed to be, hey, we're gonna get the costumes right. They're gonna get the characters right. This this is this is Marvel making mm-hmm. their own movies, and in the first uh, the first part, they did. Right, they got Phase they got one. perfect. Yeah. yeah, they got it right. They didn't care. Uh, the my, my only complaint about Thor, I like the first Thor movie. He should have been wearing his fucking helmet, but you know that's that's other than that. Uh, yeah, right. he has on the beginning, right. right? Yeah, he does in the beginning, and it looked yeah. good. It looked. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, a legit question because we're, we're we're kind of toy people here as well. So does the Jonathan Majors Kang hot toy get made now or scrapped? Oh, it gets scrapped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cut all time. Hey, uh, how about all those Doctor Who toys we ordered? Uh, oh, as that we paid for. Uh, Doctor yeah. Who, Doctor Who's back. It's back. Uh, and their one six scale manufacturer uh, went bankrupt and ripped people off. Oh, you mean the Doctor Who that fudged the viewing numbers? Yeah, the same Doctor Who that fudged the viewing numbers and actually lost a million viewers from the first special to the to the third. Pretty pretty much. Well, yeah. lost lost uh, over six seven hundred thousand between the first to the second, because wow. the actual consolidated number was six point nine million. Well, did you? But see- because they released the numbers on the Wednesday. They reported the Wednesday number, which was seven point one four. Oh yeah, they, they cheated. Well, you know, they put the numbers up for the third one yesterday. Late yesterday, because yeah, it wasn't even it wasn't even up by the time I went to the gym at three o'clock in the fucking morning. And now they're saying six point eight five for the third one, which also is adding on pretty much all of Mondays when it should have been uh, Sunday. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, Kirby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. What is that? Nice. It's the, mez- it's is- the, it's the, the Mezco. Mezco Fantastic yeah. Four set. Damn. Open it up. I want to see what they look like. Okay. okay. Oh, they look great. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh my is, god, is this the four hundred dollar one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, tin, look oh. at that. tin lid. Now do this with one six scale, please. Oh, these look. I oh man, I really wish I'd got. I think Chris Gore got on this boat as well. I didn't get on this boat. I should have got on this boat. I got on this yeah, boat. I, I got on this boat. Oh, so good. Yeah, that is so good. And those are like cloth costumes, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one that has the uh, the trench coat and the. Yes. Uh, and but the, you know what's missing trophy. is the cigar. They should have a cigar. Yeah, I agree. I agree, but they have like a str- there's like a stretchy, fantastic, uh, uh, Mister Fantastic in here. Herbie's in here. It's fucking. Mm-hmm. I'll show him later. But uh, oh, yeah, that's awesome, dude. It is fucking rad. Oh yeah, baby. But I like. I'm not a nerd. I, I don't like any of this shit. I'm just a hater. <laughs> yeah, hater. That's me. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt there. All right. So Jonathan Majors. Fucking fired, uh, and and like on the heels of Nelson Peltz starting a proxy war with Ike Perlmutter, the the guy who sold Marvel to Disney and feels completely fucked over by Bob Iger as he should, as he should. Bob Iger besmirched Bob Iger and Kevin Feige besmirched this guy's reputation while he was still fucking there, while he was in the building. Still working with them. They were out there going, well, you know, we uh, had to wrestle a lot of the Marvel Studios part away from Perlmutter because he's because he's racist because he's racist. Mm. Uh, He said he didn't want to make a Black Panther movie. That's a lie. He tried to make a Black Panther movie with Wesley Snipes for many years. So that's a fucking lie. Um, He did say girls don't buy action figures. And he's fucking right. He's right. For the most part, they don't. Okay, some do. Yeah. There's exceptions, and the girls that buy them like them the way they are. Like them the way they are. So, uh, and then after Captain Marvel, Kevin Feige used that as leverage to going, see, Captain Marvel totally, girls are it. That's what's it. Get the fuck out. Yeah, that film still hasn't gone over $200 million worldwide. Uh, No, it has not. Yeah, worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. Yeah. And it's sequel, and its predecessor made over a billion dollars. Its predecessor made over a billion dollars. So there's that going on. 
Um, Bob Iger is getting roasted daily now by Elon mm-hmm. by Elon Musk, and there's something strategic going on with that. Other, other, or he's just fucking roasting him. Either way, I'm completely for it. Oh, and the Mar- Marvels being a massive flop, and they just had their worst year. Remember when Ant Man started? Mahler did an exquisite visit video on Ant Man. If you haven't seen it, oh, oh thank you. so good. Um, remember oh, when we like? How could it so get worse? Good. How could it get worse than Ant Man? Ant Man was, I mean. Uh, aside from Guardians, Ant Man was the best thing they did. It all yeah. went downhill. Like Secret <laughs> Invasion's actually worse. Loki's actually Loki season two is actually worse. Uh, and Marvel's is bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. So uh, they're fucked. Marvel's it's not a movie. Marvel's is the Marvel's is not a movie. No, it's content. It's yeah. It's it's yeah. just a it's just a hash of scenes. There's no characterization. There's no development. There's no real plot. There's no logic. There's no coherence. Uh, it's 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 just a jumbled trash heap. But luckily, we're all violent and racist and homophobic and misogynistic and all all those words because we didn't like the slop. It's our fault. As as who yeah. liked slop though? Who was pigs. the sloppy to? Cancel pigs love <laughs> slop. Cancel pigs. Do they even? <laughs> Cancel the movie. The Did slot. they go and no. see it? I don't think well, so. Uh, they may have. They may or may not have pirated it. Pirated it. Yeah. Uh, and, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They they don't they don't leave. The true fan. The yes. Tr- the true fan. They they serve you shit sandwiches and they tell you what a great restaurant it is. Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're uh, but you, but you're, you're lucky to stuff. dine at this restaurant as well. That's Greg. right. Enjoy you're your shit. if you don't like it. Uh, but according to some comic book writers. Uh, remember with the Glenn O'Leary stuff, some of the uh, some of the bite back is like, this isn't a restaurant. You, it's like, yes, it is. Yeah, it, is, <laughs> it actually. actually, it is. <laughs> yeah, you keep getting served bad meals. You you stop yeah. going. Yeah, you, you find another place. Yeah, that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. Yeah. And uh, people are finding another place in droves. Uh, like, so I brought it up in my video. That strike is going to f- fuck Hollywood so hard. Because oh, well. they would, ha- I know, I know. Oh well, but um, next year they would have an opportunity to turn things around. But they're now a year behind on everything, so now it's two years away to turn everything around, which turns sometimes into three years away. And uh, you're just not going to get. It's they're not going to get back to their prominence. They'll always be around. But this is the point uh, I was trying to make with the with the whole manga and, and American comic books. Sorry, Graham. But uh, I mean, you're on independent, so you don't give a shit. But um, it's true. <laughs> yeah. That Barnes and Noble thing, they keep uh, the, what I did. What got cut out at the end of that that video I made was that those two shelves at the end were like off and they rem- they they just put them there because it's expanding more. Um, and it, that used to be the fantasy shelf. And they got rid of two shelves in the fantasy <laughs> section and put in manga so the last time I was there, it was like three shelves more, and I was just there a couple months ago. So this thing's like expanding like crazy. It's gonna take over the whole corner of this like fucking giant Barnes and Noble we have it here in San Antonio. It's huge, um, and uh, that's market share. So so that proves, and this goes with for Hollywood too. People still want to see movies. People, mm-hmm. the same amount of people still want to see movies. They still want to go to the theater. They still like when you provide something good, they fucking show up in droves. Barbenheimer proved that. No Way Home proved that. Taco Maverick proved that. And a very little movie called Godzi- Godzilla Minus One, which is now outgrossed uh, Japan's total here in limited release. A movie that's completely uh, in Japanese uh, proves that mm-hmm. if you make something good, they will go. And if you keep pushing this woke shit, they'll just find somewhere else to go. And, and they did it on a minuscule $12 million budget. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a that's lunch in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, know? I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's a month worth of lunch charges in Hollywood. That's, uh, Jonathan Majors law fees. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> it, oh, like it, 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 that's how much Marvel lost today on jo- Jonathan Majors just in one day is twelve million yeah. dollars. Right. It's, it's probably a bit more actually, Gary. It's Dude, probably a lot, it's, lot more than uh, twelve million. Okay, uh, hundred million, easily. Oh, hundreds, hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. Because you... they're, they're investing in him yep. to be the big villain going forward. I mean, he's already lost them lots of money. Albeit not just on his own with the other things that he's been casting, because nobody's really signing up for Disney Plus for Loki. Uh, they lost half of no. its audience from season one, for God's sake. 
Oh, and nobody, even then, the first season audience wasn't that impressed. Nobody's yeah. signing up to Disney Plus. That's why they're going to very quietly roll it into Hulu, and it'll just turn yeah. into Hulu. And that's why they kept yeah. And, like, that's smart. The one smart thing, they completely overpaid, but keeping Hulu was probably the most important part of the Fox deal. Because that's the only thing that can um, – it can't compete with Netflix, but it's – um. It's been around for longer, right? A lot longer. So it's got that head start and people are more familiar with it. They'll fuck, they'll completely fuck it up. <clears throat> oh, I, I watch I, almost nothing on Hulu. Uh, I have it. And the only thing, I was ready to cancel it and then Justified, uh, Prime, uh, City Primeval came out on it. And I'm like, I love Justified. So I wanted, to, I wanted to see that before I canceled it. I saw it and I was like, yeah, less than thrilled. Yeah, and my now wife. Still got yeah. Nothing, yeah. You know? That's Melissa's favorite show. And she felt the same way about city yeah. primeval she was like mm -hmm. yeah you know the lightning just did not strike a second time there. it I mean, did not Oliphant was great he had the character down and all that it's it's that supporting <laughs> cast which let it down and which uh elmore leonard was so great at writing um in in the first series you know each season had a new villain sort of or a uh, different storyline and each one was just really really interesting and cool this was like yeah okay you ever see Banshee? Banshee, no. Uh, it stars uh, the dude who plays Homelander. Um, I'm forgetting his Banshee name right star? now. Yeah, Banshee's the shit. Banshee's fucking, you should watch Banshee. What's that on? Uh, it is probably on Hulu. I have no idea. Oh. I uh, Okay. Is it Hulu? But yeah, uh, it's about, um, uh, dude, it's got, so it's about a criminal who disguises himself as a cop and he fights, uh, uh, oh, I'm blanking on their name now. Why, dude? I hate having a white stroke. women. No, he doesn't fight white women. Oh, okay. Uh, oh Welsh. my god! This <laughs> happens to me all the time when I'm broadcasting. I by fucking the way. hate so, it. No, the I'm so happy it's happening to, to you. <laughs> oh god, this sucks. Getting old. The religious people who like st stay in the Amish? 1800s. Amish. Yeah, Amish? He, fight, yeah. Fight, he fights criminal He's Amish. Sad. Criminal Amish. Criminal yeah, it's so they're it's, the worst. It's fucking it's rad. Fucking it's, Amish. Yeah. Yeah. It's rad. It's a good concept, but uh, I digress. Yeah. Uh, Hulu, I keep because Buffy and Angel are it. That's that's yeah. it right now. That's, okay. That's why I keep it. They don't have good movies, uh, older mm, TV shows. No, they, they don't. They used to have a lot of the um, the Irwin Allen TV shows on there, which were kind of yep. cool to watch. Uh, you know, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and Time Tunnel mm. and all that, but those are all gone. They, yeah, the, well, they used to be oh, all TV show. Time Remember, Tunnel, man? Like, yeah, like it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's all gone now. And Disney will make it worse. I promise they will. But uh, yeah. Hulu's going to probably, you know, they had to pay a bunch of money to Hulu. Um, Bob Iger's a total disaster. And uh, fucking Elon at his own press event is out there calling like woke mind virus now. Like Elon is all in <laughs> on this shit. And this is great because he's not wrong. Elon, uh, you know, whether you disagree with them or not, we have a, tr we have a multi-billionaire, almost trillionaire maybe out there speaking our language, like understanding like our cultures at stake. This is no fucking joke. You know, we play in the pop culture area and we call it out here, but there's much bigger stakes. There's a much bigger problem out there. And um, for those of us who stuck with it and kept calling it out and that I'm talking to you in the chat as well. Thank you. Because now it's getting out. It just took a long fucking time. Like I said, it was going to take, and it's still going to take like, this isn't over. By any means, um, Elon said it in his. Uh, could you find that clip, uh, X-ray girl? He said it. He's like the woke mind virus is like they're not going to go down without a fight. They're they're not. Mm. They're absolutely going to double, triple down. But it'll be. It'll well, we've just, said this. Yeah, we've said that the, yeah. this is the hill that they will die on, and and it's going to get worse before. Uh, you know, they have to maybe bend the knee to the to the shareholder, but only then is it going to. The only thing that's going to change anything is the shareholder revolt. Yeah. That's the only thing that's going to change in it. I want to. I'll find the clip later. I want to credit. It, it used to be money talk. I'm yeah. Sorry. It used to be that money talked, and that was the the baseline for everything. But with the advent of ESG money and funds, mm. yeah. that completely went away because profit was, was meaningless. So they could go in their direction of social justice warriors and uh, not be held accountable because they could still show a profit with the ESG money. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. Uh, now, now they can't. Finally. <laughs> Because even with the money, they're not making profit. They're ma they're losing hundreds yeah. of millions. Thank goodness. Uh, 
But it's the, but it was inevitable. Yep. It was the only way that it could ever go because you you can't produce something which is antithetical to entertainment and expect it over the long term to actually produce numbers and results. People are going to have a degree of um of giving you the benefit of the doubt for a while based off franchise name, based off company name, based off brand essentially. But there comes a time where where we've been talking about this for years. We've been fighting this for years. And it's only now in recent months that normies are even like, fuck this shit, we're out. And and look at, again, look at something like Godzilla Minus One. Why are people going to watch Godzilla Minus One? Is it because it's a Godzilla movie? Not necessarily per se. Is it because it's a movie mm -hmm. about people going through shit, things that you can relate to, understand to, the, th the actual themes of that, film because that mm -hmm. film is fucking beautiful thematically it's beautiful and and, and you can go there and, and i i wasn't expecting what i got when i watched it last night and and i can understand now why people are just like oh, i want to go back and see it again because i want to go back and see it again and it's purely because of the, the humanity within that film uh and and so yeah that's that's what people gravitate towards and when you <laughs> look at again let's just take the marvels for example what what the hell is anybody meant to get out of that film? Anybody? Black Girl Magic. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's a film about family, <laughs> and that's what's so powerful about it. Giant it hands. Giant. <laughs> it's a film about uh, the, the villain Brie Larson trying to kill a little girl. <laughs> yeah, Several yeah, times. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And you know what? She just doesn't. She just can't do it. She just can't she quite so do hard. it. Yeah. She tries. She does oh, kill wow. Monica by the end of it, though. She does. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but Monica was too stupid to realize what was going on and too quite happy to, to die. Yeah. I got to close it from the other side. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> just think of that dichotomy. In, in the Marvels, you got people who are too stupid to live. And in Godzilla minus one, you got people who, who are trying to understand how to live how do i live how do i um it, it, it was like it was yeah. a perfect example of a movie like not like bros no like a, a movie that was supposed to be made for dudes to go to that was devoid of any masculinity whatsoever they're like only a gay man or a of mid 40s single woke white woman casting director would go hey Let's cast Tom Hiddleston's girlfriend as the big bad who looks like she should be in Love Actually too, you know, and, like she, Love Actually. Or we'll throw just put a bunch some. Of cats. We'll put yeah. We'll throw a bunch of cats in and we'll put some metal on her teeth. That'll make her look badass. Yeah, oh. you know, fucking Jesus Christ! That movie. Thinking about that movie is so fucking. I'm I'm working on my top five list. Thank you for the votes. As we, I got a team together. I got a team together. <laughs> And we and uh, my uh, super autistic uh, researcher, um, Lady Gravemaster, put together a fucking chart, a fucking flow chart or whatever. And the top five might surprise you with the with the team we got together. But of course, the Marvels on it. But like, I was looking at it, and there's stuff that's way down the list. I'm like, oh, this has been a bad year. Holy shit! I could do a top twenty easy. I could easily do a top twenty, uh, but Perry would die editing it. So, <laughs> uh, but. We need to make sure he lives. <laughs> so much bad shit this year. So much. It's gonna. It's gonna be a little hard. I might have to make some executive decisions. But uh, put up. Could you put up. Put up the Elon. Did you find the Elon clip? I think so. Um, it's on Twitter. Kind of was trending. Is this, I, I this know you one were like. On no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Not that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, too busy fucking drinking with Chrissy over the weekend. Uh, to notice <laughs> what the hell is. Uh, I tweeted about it. Okay, Here, I'll I'll, I'll find I'll I'll send you the link. Okay. I liked when Elon just said "fuck off." Oh, that was so good. <laughs> that oh. was so great. Oh, you I mean like this? Go up yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob. So here he is again. You got the other one. Disney I got the I got one. He's so awkward, which is what makes it so funny. You know, he's like, no, that's I hope not that's clear. That's not. One? Nope, that's not it. That's not the uh, woke mind virus one. Nope. I mean, that's uh, that's a woke. But here you go. Oh, I think I just found it. The Disney is deeply infected. Yes. Okay, got it. I I, I just put the We're link there. In the private chat. We finally got okay. there. Okay, chat. We got there. We're going. 
to fight the woke mind virus, then the woke, woke mind virus will fight back. And unfortunately, Disney is deeply infected with, with the woke mind virus. In fact, if you ask an AI, what is the most woke company on earth? It's Disney. Really? <laughs> you know? Yeah, you can clap, but if you ask that same yeah. AI, is it okay to be white? It will basically tell you no, because it's entrenched <laughs> in, in white superiority. And if you ask if is it okay to be black, Jewish, or any other race or color, it will go, of course it is. Of so, course. Uh, yeah, your AI is not as right. great as you think it is, sir. I'm not sure what he's trying to prove by saying the AI would tell you that. I, that's, that's, no, 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 that, no, no it's, it's Grok, it's, it's Google. So he's trying to compete. It's, it's just a search. That's all it is. All right. That's the way he sees it as Google. And he's not going to say Google because that's his competition now. Uh, you you might notice that anytime you link a uh, a YouTube video on, you're not going to get as much interaction on Twitter now. It just, it's ridiculous. Mm. It's not a lot of diversity in that audience, is there? Nope. Looks like a big KKK meeting. Ryan would love it. Okay, it, hit play. It just looks like a demographic breakdown of reality. <laughs> well, I know it does. <laughs> I have to say, what would, I mean, I think they should be asking themselves, what would Walt Disney think of Disney today? Oh. No, I think he's turning in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that people, wait, wait, pause, sure. pause. Like, like the fact that people are clapping, that's huge. In an event like this where they normally wouldn't, even with Elon there, uh, mm -hmm. is, is kind of a big deal. I, I think that's, the, like, we can't undersell that, even though it's probably a bunch of sycophants. They're, they're still clapping. Um, imagine if there's a Hollywood crowd there. They wouldn't clap. They wouldn't fucking wouldn't clap. clap. No. But I, I do think that the more people talk about it, the more brave people are to actually just express their thoughts. Because before you would get jumped on by people and be like, wow, you're a bigot. You're an istophobe. And now you can, um, there's more voices out there saying this. And, you yeah. know. Gina walked so a lot of people could run. Exactly. Mm. I think he's not happy. Sure. Sure. You know. If, if the namesake of the company is not happy, that's probably a bad sign, you know? Because Walt Disney, what did he care about? He cared about bringing joy to people's lives. He poured, you know, um, ma making wonderful things that children and families could enjoy. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, he was he, he created some of the, the coolest, um, uh, you know, art in the Hated world. communism. And stuff that even yeah. 100 years after it's created, we still yeah. remember it. And, and still, it's still a major thing. But you have to say, how great was Walt Disney? It was amazing. Loved America. Uh, yes. Now, uh, D Disney, at least for now, is deeply infected with the uh, work mind virus. I think that will, you know, that will change. Over yeah. Time. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, right. This is in Italy, right? Did you see that uh, TikToker in Italy? No. There was no. a, a black TikToker in I Italy. I don't who, watch TikTokers. Who, when they were in Italy, was really disgusted at how many oh. white Italians there were. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, no. no. Yes. Hey, I want to direct her to a scene in True Romance. I can find it. Can I, want find to it I want to direct her to a scene oh. in True Romance <laughs> between Dennis Hopper and Christopher Walken. Yeah. <laughs> You're a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so things have gotten so bad. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna share this X-ray girl, that okay. woke idiot, and he, he's a he's a fucking idiot. Like, Bill Maher's an idiot, but but he's an idiot who occasionally says something that's true. Oh, he fucking he's completely. Well, no, that's all. He which is. way's the wind? Fucking blind but, is that guy? Yeah, and people like that can still say something true. And so people like that can yeah. still say something. The broken true. clock is broken right clock. twice a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he's uh, a broken clock, all right. It's just going to be this part. So, Disney didn't want to get into a big pissing match with Ron DeSantis about Wait, sex and grades. No audio. audio. Really? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Boomerific. Man, it was all built. Like, oh my god, it's all mean, built. Uh, well, okay, so it's no his way. new rules, and he's talking about woke capitalism. All right, I probably should have set oh, that up too. I mean, you can share it to the chat if you want. The, the chat heard it, the chat yes. heard it, yeah. But we didn't. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> all right, fine. Because the whole audience gets to hear it, but I don't get to yeah. hear it. What do they say, there. chat? Chat, tell us. <laughs> all right, go to the uh, you share it, go to the uh, 406 mark. I will put the uh, I'll put the link in here. 
I got to do this first, though, and then stop. Because we are the most well-produced show on the internet. Absolutely. Yes, we are. I am that producer. And then just, he says something really fucking stupid about Bud Light. I mean, it's a joke, but he says something stupid about Bud Light. But he makes a good point at the end of like, um, you know, I think the the Bud Light boycott was fucking huge. Like that was that was like a really successful boycott where you took down a billion dollar corporation brought them to their knees now they didn't apologize but they knew they fucked up uh we i talked i talked to uh well he made it public ramesh ramesh directed uh, uh a commercial that was supposed to be the big comeback and kind of the apology and then they shit canned it and did something Ooh. else well now that they've got the nfl shilling for it uh they've got the commercial That's not like two weeks ago where uh peyton manning and uh I forget who the other guy is. He walks up to the bar and he asks for a Bud Light. He goes, oh, no, just get around for everybody. And then you got all these football players all there enjoying their Bud Light. Yeah. I mean, there's more realism in a Star Wars movie than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, first of all, these guys are not drinking Bud Light. It was a shitty beer to begin with. And then you 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 pile that on with what they tried to do uh, uh, with the uh, uh, Mulroney or Mulvaney thing uh and it, it was just a complete disaster for them and they're trying to make it sound like it's a masculine drink now and look the nfl is, is drinking this and peyton manning is drinking bud light and it's like hasn't well, the usc sec- uh, got a sponsorship from bud light as well now did yep. they yeah yeah they so. did they did dana white's trying to push it and kid rock yeah. They they paid him off kid it's rock like, who shot up a bunch whoa, of kid it, rock remember? really yeah. i mean because yeah. he shot up the, you know he said Fuck you, and he's got his his AR. Well, you know what? If 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 Bud Light really wants to do that, then come out and apologize. But they apologize, can't. yes, yeah, come out and yeah. apologize, yeah. and then it's fine. Uh, what yeah. they did is they apologized to Dana White, they apologized to Kid Rock, but they apologized to their to their drinkers. Now, no apology ever work on me. Uh, you know, I haven't. I, I I've been off Bud Light. I, I don't think I've ever had one. I don't think I've ever had a Bud Light. Even when I was drinking, I wouldn't touch that shit. Yeah. Uh, but um, when you look at ingredients on a beer can, you should never see rice, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, with br- beer, you might as well just you're drinking sake. That's if you, pretty if good. If you're drinking a couple of oh, beers, you know what? You might as well just eat a loaf of bread because you're doing the same thing pretty much carbohydrate yep. wise. Yeah, yep, yep. You just might as well eat an entire loaf of bread. All right, uh, awesome. Can I have but, bacon? Uh, with I that? also want to point out that <laughs> this guy's the, the, um, and we'll talk. John Oliver went off on Elon Musk. Uh, for a half an hour with his 14 writers writing jokes for him. Uh, yeah. He has writers writing jokes for him. This motherfucker, when you see his podcast, when he's getting stoned with these fucking idiots, um, uh, Roseanne, uh, he didn't know who Klaus Schwab was. He didn't know wow. what the WEF was. And she, she's like, fucking Google it. <laughs> Which is funny. Uh, so, yeah, this guy's coming out like he's the, the final word on everything. He didn't even fucking know who those two, the organization or Klaus Schwab was. But this is this is true. So he's talking. He's calling out woke capitalism. He's talking, he, and he's basically saying, "You're a corporation. You don't have to have an opinion on anything." You so really, his writer is correct. His writer is correct. Hit play. Yeah. Disney didn't want to get into a big pissing match with Ron DeSantis about sex in grade school, but its employees sure did. So they had to. Now, one side thinks Disney said too much. The other thinks it didn't say enough. We see this pattern over and over. That's it. We saw it with Bud Light. That's it. Well, he he basically says uh, Republicans were afraid Bud Light was going to turn him gay. That was his joke. Um, So, which wasn't it. You may not be wrong there. Well, yeah, I mean, Bud Light Light (laughs) will. Yes, it's true. If you drink it, you'll look like. No. uh, Dylan Mulvaney, yeah. What I liked what he said was. Talk about sex with grade school kids. He didn't call it the no, don't say gay bill. He called it what it was. So good for that. Right. And 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 he called Disney out and and he, for for bending the knee to their employees when they initially didn't want to get involved. Now Bob Iger says he would have handled it differently because he would have gotten involved. He would have absolutely remember Bob Iger says the trans issue is uh, is tantamount to to him marching with Martin Luther King. Yeah. Said yeah, something Martin that Luther effect. King was against segregation. All these fucking idiots are pro segregation. So you won't be walking, you won't be marching with Martin Luther King 
You'd be the guy behind the fucking sniper rifle killing him. That got dark. Well, it's true. <laughs> it's true. That's or, true. They paint themselves as these fucking messiahs, and they're the, they are the actual fucking Nazis. Yeah. The Socialist Party. It always comes. It's always projected to come from the right. It never does. It always comes from the fucking left. True. The communism, the genocide, the war, it's all from the fucking left. Every fucking single solitary time. And all they project is, it's the right that's racism. You're the racist. It's the right that's sexism. You're the sexist. You're the people destroying gender. You're the, uh, the people destroying family. You're the people destroying jobs. You're the people destroying everything. You're the warmongers. You're the people that push the world to the brink of World War fucking three. The left. The left, it's always the fucking left. And they turn around and go, you got to be careful for those alt-right bigots. And of course, an alt-right bigot means anyone that doesn't fucking adhere to exactly what they're saying. Every single time, it's the socialist, Marxist, commie, fucking wankers who are the Nazis, who are the fucking warmongers. Every time. And they hate this Fuck fucking country. Fucking baguettes the and lot they, of you and they hate this country in particular and that's why they're completely okay with fucking with systems like elections and funding groups to go out and burn down our fucking cities all while they're saying if you elect this guy he's gonna he's gonna be oppressing marginalized people and imprisoning them while they were funding groups of people uh to the in dallas they were sending them fucking from home depot they were being delivered bricks to go bricks, to bricks. Yeah. It was yes. on fucking camera. Pallets of bricks. Yeah. Pallets, pallets of bricks. New York, New York City, too. They dropped pallets of bricks in New York City. Yeah. Right? Fifth Avenue. Uh, when they're tossing them Accuse your opponent of what you are doing. You are doing. doing. And it's, of course they hate America because America is, fun, is built on the foundation of free speech. That's the last thing they want anyone to have is free fucking speech. Except Look them. at all the laws that are going in countries at the moment. Britain, America. Other Australia, can, other fucking can, countries. Canada. They want, if you say something, they want to jail you for fucking saying that that fucking thing with a penis is a woman or whatever. Or, or whatever compelled speech nonsense that they want you to fucking adhere to. They don't want you to have your opinion. They don't want you to believe in actual fact of bio, uh, biological science or things like that. If you go against their ideology, you are now worthy of prison. Who does that? Oh, where did that start? Oh, well, it's been going on for decades and decades, but in recent history, 1930s Germany. Speak against the regime. Get fucking jailed. Get fucking murdered. How long does one move into the other? And you think that's hyperbolic? History repeats itself over and over and over again. And right now, what have we got? We've got a bunch of fucking people screaming for the deletion of another group of people. Now, I don't know in what fucking world you live in, but that's never a good thing. Ever a good thing. And these are the people that are calling you fucking all this, that, and the other. Shut the fuck up. Uh, how about that guy from the Weather Underground uh, who uh, was buddies of, with Obama? This got swept under the rug. Uh, went to prison for blowing up and killing somebody uh, back in the 60s and then had audio. He would do give little talks and had audio about, yeah, you know, uh, people said, like, what happens if you win the the, the communist what revolution? Oh, well, we would put him in uh, re-education camps. That was this guy. That was that guy. I forgot his name now, but it's the guy from, look it up, the guy from the Weather Underground. He did that. Yeah, accuse your opponent of what you were doing. And and the biggest mistake, Republicans, Libertarians, and, and, and centrists, uh, and people who just don't fucking care have made is not understanding the importance of culture, of pop culture. And that's what the left did understand. That's why they did infiltrate every facet. Uh, they didn't infiltrate sewage. They didn't infil infiltrate no. oil industries. They infiltrated media and education. Yes, education yeah. first. That started Children. back in the, 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 the worming their way in there in the 1950s. And uh, that's, we are really paying for it. History repeats itself when you don't know history. And uh, we stopped teaching civics, so there's no pride. Yep. Uh, what was wrong with saying the Pledge of Allegiance every morning in school? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All you're saying is that you, you, you love this country and, uh, and everything that it's afforded you and given you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And teaching civics about how to be a good civilian, uh, 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 how to be a good neighbor, how to help each other. 
as opposed to uh, uh, telling them lies uh, about your country that, you know, you, you founded this country on, on theft and uh, disease and taking it from native peoples and all this other shit. Show me a country where that didn't happen. <laughs> right. That's a history. So, it's the history so, of mankind. So, so they yeah, it's the history of mankind. It's the history of mankind. So they finally get their communist utopia. You know what happens to the gays and anybody who practices any religion? You're done. Yeah. Get in, get You're in dead. the pit. Get in the pit. Get in the pit. <laughs> yep. You're done. Yeah. Uh, because nothing can be bigger than the state. The state is God. Mm -hmm. uh, that is God. Because yeah. they've pulled God. K killing fields. Go look into it. Mm -hmm. Killing fields. Pretty fucking Pol nasty. Pol yep. Pot. Yep. Pretty nasty shit. Uh, so uh, is that, dude, that's just because communism's never been done right. It's never been implemented correctly. <laughs> yeah. I know. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 why it's good. People are waking up, and if if it takes the fucking Marvels, I don't care what it takes. I don't care what it takes. Wake up to to common sense. Uh, you know, we don't want stuff to swing the other way either. Uh, although I wouldn't mind like a Batman story about taxation as theft. That wouldn't be bad. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, other than that, uh, you know, we do want to hear other ideas. We're, we're not the ones trying to silence people. We're not. You know what? Be critical of me or anybody all day long. I don't give a fuck. Uh, that's what free speech is about. But they're the, as as pointed out, they're the ones trying to suppress it. They're the ones out there trying to get, they're the ones who developed and, and made up cancel culture, uh, which is uh, completely a well, Marxist they're, belief. They're, they're offended by what you say. Yeah. And the whole point of free speech is to say things that are offensive, yep. because if you say something that everybody agrees with, well, where's the freedom of that speech? I mean, everybody agrees with it. There's nothing uh, uh, contrarian about it. So it, it, it's a useless argument uh, if you can't say the stuff that is offensive, because that's what you're being protected by. Yep. And that offense usually uh, and was originally written to uh, 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 criticize government, the thing that they couldn't do. People wanted to cancel poor Mahler because he didn't like Mandalorian season one or two. Oh, he's, he, he's dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> but they also they also want to they also want to cite you because you don't agree with what they're saying. That's a big thing. And when you're don't when you're not agreeing with what they're selling saying, then we get what we're getting now, which is the compelled nature to agree. If you, if you won't agree by compliance then we'll force you to do it mm -hmm. we'll and force you to to agree because if you speak out against it then we'll jail you like in the uk the labor government they want to jail you for two years for misgendering and they're doing it because it in the past as it was effective it was so effective that companies that provided entertainment started doing it to their own paying customers they felt free mm. enough to do oh, yeah. fan baiting, anti fan marketing. They thought it was good to divide fandoms. It would get this discord and we could start choosing our audience. That's how effective it was. And that's why it took just regular fans to go on go on the internet and start talking about it, going, you know, I don't ever remember it being this way. And I've been around fandom my entire life, and a lot of you have too. And I just don't remember, like, we disagreed, we fought, but it was never like this. It was never about canceling people. Uh, no, and uh, it, it's it, you, you just didn't buy it yeah. or watch it or, you know, whatever it is that you have and the way you consume it. Uh, if if it wasn't your bag, you just, just didn't do it. And, you know, simple it's, as that doesn't mean it shouldn't the studio exist. would just move on. They'd be yeah. like, OK, this this failed. Let's move on to the next this one. Didn't make money. Yeah. Let's cancel it. And, and we and then we get five seasons of Star Trek Discovery on a Jeez. on a on a streamer that's never turned a profit. That's about to get bought out by a production. So like a major studio is about to get pro bought out by a production studio. That's insane. Uh, wow. But the, but Hollywood went broke. Hollywood would fucking went broke. So uh, yeah, it, it's and it, and it sucks. And, and a lot of stuff we love got completely fucked. Completely fucked. Uh, uh, but you know, like again, not saying some stuff shouldn't exist. Like the American Society of. Uh, Magical uh, man, I should have had that clip ready, but I didn't. Um, oh, it's a picture. The magical. Yeah, there you go. Wait, I can, I can, I can upload it real quick. Magical crayons. What? Uh, yeah. Oh, read, read oh. the the second line. Crayon, crayon. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> okay. He's lexic. <licks> <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> you, do you know that's the that is the worst thing that anyone could possibly do to a dyslexic person is write the word dyslexic. How the it's fuck are they? Yeah, how know. the fuck are they? I'm dyslexic. Spell it. I oh, got fuck off. <laughs> d d d d y d d l s d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d that's the name of the film. I'm not if you embarrassed want to, to say it. Film, I think it's a good that's joke. You got to it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't let them make you feel uncomfortable for making the title of their film what it is. Let's see if that's the name of a movie. Of the film is going to be different. Oh, oh that's, that's I'm, I'm, the name of a I'm movie. There day one. I'm there day one. Fucking waving my money. I want to oh. see this. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. This, it's going to be a glorious. I don't know it looks like shit. It looks generic, boring, and crap. Like a... yeah. the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. It looks like a rom-com with lots and lots of racism chucked yeah. in for good measure. Rush Limbaugh used to get accused of using that phrase, the magic Negro, uh, and it didn't come from him. He, no. he, he took it from Jesse no. Jackson. He's the it's guy. A, it's a trope. Yeah, yeah it's, a tr it's a trope. It's a trope, but you've noticed the trope has been replaced. They're not magical anymore. They're gay. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've they've made they've they've made all the that like they've gotten rid of all the like the masculine black men. It's always some effeminate skinny one, or he's gay. Like how many how many gay black guys are in the CW superhero shows? You know, it's like a, <laughs> it's all over. Everybody was gay in those shows. Yeah, well, that's, we, we need to be a gay hero, Mister Terrific. Let's wheel him out again. I, I know. Oh my god, black gay magic. It's all we got. Yeah. No, no, it's it's uh, it, it, woman. That's so the trope is still there. It, it's absolutely still there. Um, and uh, as many people said, the money, the movie, uh, well, the Key and Peele sp sketch, what did it perfectly? That that was hilarious. You ever seen that? So there's. I don't think so. I love those guys though. Uh oh, they're amazing. We can't yeah, show the whole off. thing. But there's a there's a white guy there's a white guy in distress working and then the the black janitor comes in and goes you're gonna be all right son you know and he's like giving him his sagely advice and then another black janitor comes in and gives him the same sagely advice and they look at each other and they're like he's like Samuel you know and then, and then they uh, they fight and there can be only one <laughs> it's fucking great <laughs> it's so good I love their uh, when they do the Harriet Tubman free runner. <laughs> Uh, where, where she's got to free the slaves, you know, and, and they're all okay. Follow me, and she goes running. She jumps out windows, and they have to jump out the window. And she runs up the side of a wall, does a backflip, and they gotta do that. <laughs> and she's running over all these different stuff. And finally, the slaves run behind her. Goes, that's it. I'm going back. <laughs> I remember when when uh, 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 a Karen looking British woman got on a bus with Rosa Parks and gave her advice. Oh. Oh, sorry, remember, that was Doctor Who. That was Doctor <laughs> Karen. Uh, Rosa, 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 I think you're right. It's right, Rosa. Like, come on now, like, Rosa, I think you should say, listen to me, I'm a white woman. Yeah. You should get off the bus. Or you should stand up or not get off the bus. That was it. You should not get off the bus. Sorry. Oh, so she didn't come up with the idea herself. She, she had to be told. She had to be uh, helped. It yes. was the doctor. Yeah. It was, yeah, the, uh, the white Karen told the black woman how to be special. An episode how to stand up for herself. Didn't Dr. Karen feed a guy to the Nazis because he wasn't white? Uh, uh, the master. The, ma master, yeah. the master. Yeah, she took yeah. he had a perception field. Uh he was he was a Nazi, and obviously he's uh Pakistani. Perception filter. Perception filter. Did I say that wrong? Yeah. Uh perception filter on and she disact she deactivated it so the Nazis would see what color he was and uh, yeah. threw him in a concentration camp. Uh, wow. <laughs> The doctor, everyone. The doctor. Yes. The doctor. Dr. Karen. Hey. Those Pakistani Nazis helping the, the helping the Nazis one person at a time. <laughs> Remember when uh, she was she was going to sacrifice herself to kill the master and all of the um, all of the regenerating uh, cyber cyber time lords. And then a white guy came and went, no, 
Let me do it. I'm I'm a white man. I'm disposable. Went, okay. She goes, okay. Yeah, Barristan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Sir Barristan. Yeah, yeah Sir, Sir Barristan. Barristan. And she went, no problem. Let me just run away. <laughs> then you can detonate it. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so Remember bad. Remember she activated the, the robots, the Amazon robots, to blow up, but then the guy just got blown up. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's such an idiot. She's like, what? <laughs> uh, no. the, it, I, got, I, I, I got I'm never going to uh, watch those episodes. Don't. I got it if you want it. If, I got it if you want it. The, uh, uh, we might get hit, though. Yeah, uh, yeah good point. No, it's BBC. Yeah, good point. It's BBC. Yeah. If we haven't gotten hit already, but... Uh, yes, um... The, uh, the Amer- Wait, hang on. I got my clip now. Hang on. <laughs> the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> you can tell I, I, I enjoyed it. Exactly. The American Society of- <laughs> <laughs> A little pause. Dramatic there. pause. A little <laughs> pause. A little pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes in with his Isaac Hayes voice, you know. Um, <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Pull up the trailer, X-ray girl. Let's 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 check it on that ratio because I've heard it's doubled Ooh. since I recorded my video. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't have the um the dislike thing. Oh, uh, I, I'll have a look. I'll get it. Uh, okay. X-ray girl, get the dislike thing. <laughs> You're only the producer. You're only the producer. It's I just kind don't of a... like having um a, you know too many plugins. Good job. Get the dislike thing. You pull it up. Okay, ass. I got it. Here we go. I got it. It is. Uh, I don't like having any full... plugins. By the way, I don't like like plugins are ways to get into your channel. They are dangerous. I you still. But the dislike one. I didn't want to have it. But the dislike <laughs> one is absolutely worth it. It's absolutely <laughs> worth it. It's worth everyone getting you the information. Uh, Four thousand six hundred oh! uh, upvotes. Sixty-one thousand oh, oh, oh. downvotes. <laughs> Oh, wow. That is doubled since Ouch. Sunday night. That is doubled. Yeah. Wow, 6.2 mil views, too. Why is, oh why is YouTube just started recommending some random fucking no channel every time that you're on your recommendation? It, it's doing it to me, too. Yeah, it's like, I what the hell? Why am I? Eight views after four hours. Do you want to watch this? Clearly nobody's watching it. Anyway. Is there uh, anybody in this movie, or has anybody directed this David movie? Alan Greer, uh, and um, David Alan Greer's in it, and it's there's some... a lot of racists in it, Graham. Yeah, it's, is it a comedy or? It's supposed to be a comedy. Oh, okay. oh you haven't you haven't seen the trailer, Rom Graham? No, no, I, I'm, I'm hearing about it today for the first time. Uh, we got to do Should this in we? very very small I, clips because yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say you got hit. I I got hit on Sunday Funday, but I did. Um, I did it. Just cut them out. I, just, well, I, don't, I, I don't like losing the chat, it, though. Stuff. I mean, all you're doing is is promoting it. You know, you're getting more eyeballs on it. Why, well, why would they? Let me see if I if I won my uh, appeal on Friday Night Tights. Hang on, give me just a second. Uh, I, I don't think I think it's still like in dispute. I think it's still pending. It's still pending. Mm. Last I checked. Uh, but like I, I guess I could. I, I'll. Oh yeah, it's still pending. It's still pending. Just play a couple of clips. Go, go right up as go right up to where it's just racist. And uh, there's like, <laughs> well, that's the whole trailer. The whole no, no. The, I mean, just specifically no, racist. The super racist. Okay, the, the beginning, the beginning of it is pretty fucking racist. Should we just do the beginning bit? Yes. And then we'll do the shark. Oh, let's do the let's do the shark bit. Actually, yeah. Let's do the sh let's do the shark bit. Okay, I got I got it I got it shared. Chat wants chat's like don't risk it. I won't oh, get we were... chat. I will not get rid of you. even if they fight it. I'm not going to get rid of you. All right. I love Chat's the chat. Chat's for its life right now. The chat will remain. I played this game on Sunday Funday with chat. Can you guess what the answer is? What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Graham, what's the most old... Graham, what's the most dangerous animal on the planet? <laughs> uh, that would be a liberal for 200. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, hysterical woke white women, but that's the same thing. Yeah. So white liberal women yeah. is yeah. So do I get be... credit? Do I get? Do I get? Well, right? yes. Should we you, see what the answer is? Let's see what the answer is. All right. Sure. White people. When? <laughs> oh, white people? Is that what he said? Uh, yeah, white yeah. people. Yeah, oh. that's what he said. 
well, you know, we white people can do a lot of damage. Mm. <laughs> we have guns, uh, <laughs> rockets. Because no, no, nobody of any other color has ever nope. done any damage whatsoever nope. in yeah. the history like, of mankind. Obviously. Yeah, you, you walk around my neighborhood, you are in danger of being greeted with a friendly hello. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh man, remind me not Those to pesky suck white people. Yeah. yeah. They might I'm they might be out gonna... walking their dog, their cute little dogs, and they might like want to be pet. Should we go to the bit where he says, All my life I felt that I needed to, to Yeah, to... yeah. Oh my and this God. isn't even the worst like this this like th they've got a white tears meter. You could show the image of it first, but go back okay. and show the image of the so they they of course they walk up to a cop. And they're oh yeah, but well, he's just gonna shoot them. They're explaining, yeah, of course he is. They're explaining that uh, the 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 American Society of Magical Negroes are are there to keep <laughs> white people comfortable because they're safe. If white yeah. people are comfortable, white comfort. It's a calling out. White oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here's so, his police him police face. There's a. He's yeah. like, there's a black person. I'm going to shoot them because I'm white. It's, you know, that's I think, what I do. Yeah, I think it's shooty McBlack person. So, and um, he's looking at him like, I'm going to get this. I mean, if somebody looked like looked at me like that, I'm probably going to shoot them in all fairness. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't, I, you know, the cop did nothing wrong. Good thing the oh, English look, see, don't have okay. guns. Come on, man. Stay back. Uh, okay. So, no, no, show the meter. Show here the, that, that, so, here we go. The white it says tears. White meter. tears. Uh, Graham, white. Tears. Is that actually in the film? The yes, meter? Yes, 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 yes. You see, they if you right, the premise of the movie is these magical. Um... Wait, oh, sorry. Play the clip. The American Society of Magical Negroes. Uh, they joy. exist to make sure that white people's tears are in the green, which means they're okay and they're happy. Because if they're in the orange or the red, it means they're going to kill black people. <laughs> wow. That is the premise of the film. So uh, he, the, 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 um, clip, Gary, please. Uh, yeah, I'm a little slow on the draw. The American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> he, he's training his underling. <laughs> Uh, to make sure that black uh, that white people don't shoot black people. That's his job, and he's looking at him like, "Shoot me." As as yeah, what? Who's gonna keep the black people from shooting black people? Oh, no one. That Asians. that's that's one of the biggest uh, <laughs> crimes no against against black people in America. Wait, is black on black. Go, who watches the Watchmen? So. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's the Asians because well, well, no, actually, no, no they, actually, it might be the Asians. It might be the Asians because they'll get the in the way of the bull. <laughs> yeah, because if if the if the black people aren't happy, then they go around. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just don't let us drive, okay? Stop. You see how this works? <laughs> you see how this works how now? The world, runs. the world is insane. It uh, is absolutely. <laughs> by the way, what did they hire a gay guy to look after another gay guy and then pretend that they're after a woman? I know. I know. That's, that's the most the unbelievable that thing in this trailer. It's like. That guy, what is he, 90 pounds soaking wet? He is the so most wet. unthreatening person in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, hey, do you want to see, do you want to see, um, here? I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable. Yeah, he's, he's really gay. Yep. And here it literally is. There you go. It's his, I've always felt like it was my job to make white people feel comfortable. And now it's literally his job. Uh, just for the record, it's nobody's job to make anybody feel comfortable. It's your job to feel comfortable. Self-confidence. Yeah. It's the all American Society of Magical Racists. The American Society of Magical Negroes. It's gonna yeah, that's not, too, that's not too straight, guys. This no. looks. This could be a trailer for Bros. You know what? I I'm wouldn't be surprised. Saying. Like, 
at the end of the movie, at the end of the movie, he's gonna fall for her, and then he's gonna fall for him. Though that's probably what's yeah, yeah. But that's what I would. Say. That would be more realistic. Yeah. I realized that all this time I just wanted to be with you. Wait, what? Aww. And then it's the American Society of red meat? What was that? I said, do these guys even eat red meat? No, no, no. They're vegans. Like no, they're that vegan. is right. clearly look vegan. Yeah. yeah. If they don't have, they've they've probably got tramp stamp tattoos that say vegan. <laughs> Eat my corn holio. Uh, um, so yeah, sixty one uh thousand down mm. votes. Uh it gained mm. it gained a thousand up votes since Sunday and almost thirty thousand down votes. <laughs> this yeah. is the the most correct comment you'll ever gonna see. Yeah, Guaranteed yeah. hundred percent critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. I love I love the trolling it that one of them said. I love it when they get together at the end to save Rock Ridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my This I, is I, this is less racist than Blazing Saddles, man. Oh dude. This, <laughs> being able to use two Blazing Saddles clips was uh was good. Oh, that's that's a good that's a good day. Kiss. That's a good fucking day. And then you know I, what I like about this film is bringing blacks and whites together. We can all agree it's a collective no on all sides. <laughs> hey, Mahler, did you like my new clip from Jeremy Clarkson that I sent you? Yes, that's, that'll go in a video at some that's point. That's gotta sure. go in videos. What Brilliant. we have, what we have here is a scrotum and nothing oh, yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> nothing <Yeah>. else. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. Ah, god dang it! Oh, I fucking love that show, Clarkson's Farm. We're gonna get more. Uh, we get a grand tour in February, and then I think Clarkson's mm -hmm. Farm a couple months later. So, fuck yeah, if I can decide by that. Not a, well, I'm excited to go see this movie uh, because um, March will probably it'll probably be pretty good for content. It'll probably be pretty good for content and completely cringe. Uh, and and it kind of overshadowed the Civil War movie oh. by, by Alex Garland. Uh, it's. Oh, it looks terrible. It looks fucking yeah, it looks terrible. Bad. It looks, it looks, you know, because uh, Texas and California teaming up. Fuck off! The most unrealistic thing I've ever seen in my see life. Someone's response to that was like a viral tweet that was like, "Oh, so fiction isn't like reality, huh?" And you're like, <laughs> "Well, d what?" <laughs> Fine, but if you want to like take take the like. Okay, it's more likely Texas will more likely just go to war with California than a civil yes. war would happen. Okay. Yes. And by war, they mean roll in and take over because no resistance is going to be out in that fucking place. No, we're getting, we're taking all their companies. So, all no, unless they come out and pick and it. They've taken all your guns. So. Taking all your flags. No, they're yeah. taking all the pride flags away. They can't fight. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, there's plenty of guns around here. You can. I I the one thing I had to get used to because you can just you can just carry here like no it's yeah. no problem uh, open but the, open carry you can open carry here yeah. you, the, but nice. uh, you you um but you walk into the gym and they're like no open carry yeah you can't bring your gun into the gym there's a big fucking no. sign I'm like fuck and this you call gym. your country free I know right uh but uh, yeah yeah Texas fucking awesome uh, only hey, iron Pat no lead. Uh, baggage they claim, won't by the anyway, way, uh, Graham, because words are violence, they are so hey. they can just shout, shout at the wow. oncoming. They're actually more effective. I thought silence is violence, too. So, which one is it? Well, that, yeah, and so. it, 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 don't think about a too hard x ray girl because they don't. You're, you're in <laughs> Canada still, yeah. Don't think about much, you might get jailed or euthanized for yeah. it. But, euthanized. Uh, <laughs> yeah, euthanized. Uh, baggage claim is in the chat. Hail, baggage yeah, claim. Hail baggage she is wonderful subscribe to her channel she does some great work she says texas would win and i say this is a california oh yeah texas will win oh no without doubt. doubt without a doubt we need to get it back on fnt uh we do oh i'm probably the show process well. baggage check your dms yeah check your there dms you baggage claim we're trying to get you back on trying not that i'm there anymore because i've died she actually said, Gary, that she's checking out Buffy thanks to you and I. Oh, <gasps> yes! Ooh, <laughs> no. Um, Mahler. Yes? I think 
first quarter of next year we should do the stream yeah because you're gonna be done with buffy rewatch but i've got like a billion streams i'm doing yeah well that's not my problem uh right. that's yours <laughs> so i gotta rewatch all of buffy and angel before that is four saying. months four months I'm oh I'm sorry I'm forcing you to watch Buffy and Angel in like four months. You're the one who agreed to watch that fucking crappy Clone Wars. Shit! How wow. Many hours in total hey, is all ten of minutes. It. That, that's what they are. Ten minute episodes, Gary. And I have to watch two per week at most. They're not that's ten it. a minute. Ep they're not ten minute episodes. The Clone Wars, not yeah, the Tartakovsky. 20, 20, 20, the Tartakovsky ones are ten minutes or are, are short. Yeah. No, those are great. You should watch those. Those yeah, are yeah. They're fucking the ones awesome. I'm watching. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those are the good ones. Those are the good ones. You can watch those. You're allowed. You're allowed to watch those. And also, we got to figure out what the stream's even going to be. Like, what are we going to do? Just talk randomly? Or are we going to, like, have some structure? I don't know. I think it would be probably, I mean. Like season I, by season, though? I would do it more like we did the Lord of the Rings stream. That was pretty good. Were we just A fucking... season per week or something? I want to know. Or we could do a season, like, we can do a series of them over a year. Or something like that. Yeah, that. A season per month. Or season per month. month to a season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Season, season okay. Month. All right. Gary, you, you, you don't threaten me with a good time. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. We'll oh, do it. We'll do it that way. And you know what? Badge baggage claim can come on and talk about it too. My wife will probably want to come on. So at that point, we're gonna need like that's gonna we're be gonna a show. The, we're gonna need that's gonna be a big thumbnail as well. Yeah. Let's just need its own thumbnails and title. Chat, come up with a good name for that. Yeah. Yeah. Chat. Me. We got Perry. Perry, uh, Perry will play in Buffy. We got the thumbnail machine known as Perry, so that's taken care of. Don't even worry about that. Did you see our Reacher thumbnail? It was very cute. I loved it. <laughs> I'm like, just make a regular thumbnail, you know? And it's and it's me holding like little baby boy Ryan. <laughs> it's so oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I love Perry. Uh, yeah. So, By the way, um, first three episodes of Reacher are really good. Really, really fucking good. Have you seen Reacher, Graham? Uh, I've seen the first season. I haven't started second season yet. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's really good. Um, I was a little yeah. worried, you know, like I should be, because any season two from something that's popular usually goes woke as shit, um, and uh, it's not. Oh, it's, they, they really toned down that woman from season one no you know what they did well she wasn't supposed to be according to ryan who read the books she wasn't she wasn't in the book they adapted but they wanted to introduce her because she was going to be a bigger part in season two so they had to yeah. introduce her somehow and they mm. she is she wasn't the best thing in season one she wasn't the worst thing but she wasn't the best thing and she's actually good in this like in yeah. season two who, who she's are we talking about um neely is it Neely? The, 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 yeah, Neely yeah. the last that went up to the guy in the club and said she said no and had all that nonsense. Well, there's, there's a reason she she doesn't like to be touched. She's got a background of uh, yeah. abuse. So this um, is in Reacher. Reacher, yeah. yeah. So the black girl, the black girl Neely, uh, his uh, who was on his team. Um, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So she wasn't supposed. She wasn't in the book they were adapting for season one, but they introduced her so they can have her in season two. And uh, yeah, totally. You should worry about it. But she's actually good. She's really okay. good. She's okay. good in season two. So, so far, three yeah, episodes. The yeah, my my only crit, crit of uh, season one was that last episode where, uh, you know, Reacher, we've established he's this big ass motherfucker, strong, you know, uh, ultimate fighter, all that kind of stuff. And then he gets into that fight in the, in the, the waiting pool with that little 150 pound weakling. And, uh, you know, he almost gets killed by this guy, you know, he's held underwater and then you have the phony baloney. He's drowned. There's no bubbles well, coming up. And then all of a sudden, what about know, the power of will comes back and, ah, you know, I, I hate that stuff. That was <laughs> Yeah, I, th well, I, th in, I, I think that guy was scrappy. The guy's through the window and then walks through the window, like strides over the window. It's one of the greatest things I've ever fucking seen. Uh, and then continues to beat him up on the fucking floor. After my this. only criticism was, uh, and it's fine. It was, it's just, it it turned into a Magnum PI episode at the end, which I'm totally fine with. But right. when, when Picard, like who got shot in the middle of fucking nowhere, just shows up at the warehouse to fight Finley, the other black guy, so we can have the two black guys fighting each other. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that might have been in the book, but he just comes out of nowhere after getting shot in the fucking stomach or something like that. And uh, yeah, and then he gets his head, but his his death is so good. He gets like his head smashed by that. Uh, but like little Finley uh, would have gotten his ass kicked by that guy. That guy was like a foot taller than him. 
and had probably 50 pounds on him. And people don't realize, I mean, it's Hollywood. We get it. But if you want real verisimilitude, um, and I've said this in the past, you could be a fucking double, triple, quadruple black belt. If you're 110 pounds and you're taking on a 300-pound guy, that 110-pound guy is going to die. Yeah, I, I don't care how much fucking fight training he has. He is going to yeah. die. The 300-pound yeah, yeah. guy will fuck you he up. He can't generate the power yeah. to hurt the guy that's that big and that strong. Yeah. You know, I mean, it'll yeah. be fast, yeah, but the power behind it is not going to be enough. Nope. And uh, Alan Rickman is what? He's Rich, legit Richmond? six foot. Rick, Rick, Richmond. No, he's not as Brighton. tall as you think. He's uh, one ninety. He's one ninety two. Yeah, he's he's only. Is, uh, I think he's like six one, maybe six foot. Uh, he's not the six foot four guy that you, they describe in the book. But they uh, make him. He looks pretty fucking big. But they they, just, they got him oh, down yeah. as one one meter ninety two in real life. That's that's what his stats is. What's his weight? To uh, uh, what at six one? What two fifty? And that is six foot. That's six foot three. He's not six foot three. But he looks big in the show. And yeah, he's, he tall, big in the show. he's taller well, than Tom Cruise. I'm going to research this. He's taller I, than I, Tom I, Cruise. I looked, uh, Cruise is five, six. Uh, yeah, yeah, Hugh Cruise is tiny. Is tiny. Yeah, he's yeah. um, a hobbit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've actually stood next to Tom Cruise that one time he took a walk through Comic Con. Remember that? You, oh, he wears lifts there. as well. Remember? Yeah, he wore. Yeah, he wore. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's short. What? what? Uh, yeah, one one ninety one. Was surprising us. Uh, I thought I thought Sylvester Rickston. Stallone was uh, Rick. St it's Richston, Rickston, Rick, Rick, whatever. Rick, Rick, what, Rick they're, they're, what do you think about him as Batman? Sylvester Stallone. Oh, I think he'd be no, a cool Batman. Oh, Sylvester? Stallone. <laughs> no, Stil <laughs> Stallone. Stallone Batman. I don't know, Gary. <laughs> I'm dead. No, no, but... no, no, I was I was just about to say Stallone is a little like I thought he was bigger than he was. Yeah, well, uh, you know, IMDb short, says but... he's six three, but I, I'm not buying it because early on when the show first started, I looked him up and I thought it said six one. And I think I think this has been adjusted. It probably is. Mm -hmm. I, I don't still know. He big, looks he looks he's he still looks a big, big boy. Yeah, he's he big, big. You know? Corn fed boy right there. This isn't this isn't a um Tom Hardy we're trying to make a five foot ten guy look six right. foot four type of effort in with Bane, lots of low shots up. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, you know, this is this you, you see him walking alongside others and he's powering over these people. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, the other trick is you hire shorter actors. Yeah. That's the other trick. Yeah. That's the other trick. So imagine the, the women are most likely around five, four, five, five in reality. Uh, so, um, I don't know if he wants me to say, I know a guy who watched rebel moon and said, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's not good. Apparently it's pretty bad. Like uh, it's, uh. it's a complete ripoff of uh, seven samurai and star Wars and all these other things. And it's basically just introductions. The whole first movie is it's like the critics are saying, it's just, you're getting to know the characters and then it ends. I mean, <laughs> See, I've heard that as well, and I was like, "Yeah, but if it were good, I wonder if that would be a problem." Like, because I imagine it's shit. Like, I imagine it's a bad version of that. Obviously, cause I, no point in even invoking the name of Lord of the Rings. However, like, the the yeah. nature of that, you know, the Fellowship, a huge portion of it is introducing characters and stuff, and fucking, I love it, right? But like, no, I, but I, halfway I, through the movie, you, the Fellowship is introduced. It's together. They start journeying together. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and then then we get to know them even more through that journey. But they're together. They're do they're on their mission. What I'm trying to say is that yeah. if you split uh, Lord of the Rings up into six films, and the end of the first one was when the Fellowship is created, I'm fine with that. You know, in terms of like a a pause, I wouldn't be like I'm fucking this is ridiculous. You know, what I'm trying to say is like it's all it's all very very well. It's all in the execution. Point. It's all in the I execution. wonder. Yeah. I wonder if. Because I, I don't deny that that's probably very much a problem for people that um you know the film is just set up and that the second one all the big stuff will happen, but at the same time like I, I wonder it's Zack Snyder characters it's Zack Snyder setup I wonder what it's like I will be interested to see this thing at this point because I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of contention and I feel like if this one fails like his reputation is gonna uh, drop heavily as an artist. It was isn't it? Didn't IGN give it four out of ten and uh, it's got one out of five from another. <laughs> main uh large pub uh publishers publicist one out of five not great not great 
not could not the, be better. Could, yeah, be, could better. be better. Yeah. I'm still going to watch it, and I'm making everybody. Oh, I'm going to watch it. it yeah. yeah. And if it's good, I'm going to say it's good. And if it's yep. shit, I'm going to say it's shit. Yep. That'll be. Uh, uh, and uh, but all I know is that Max Versace is going to sell five comic fives books. of 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 the copies of uh, the book that uh, he's right. He's now, writing. if Graham Nolan did the prequel, it probably makes sense. But Ooh. but you wouldn't, but you wouldn't want the pay cut because yeah. Uh, they just they just offered to pay uh, Mags's rent for a month. You know, eight hundred dollars. Oh. Eight hundred dollars isn't much. So wow, yeah. Uh, they'll be they'll be begging they'll be begging for money within a couple of months. Oh God! Again, the comic industry is in shambles. I tell you, uh, the it tiny is. two, it is in shambles. Uh, yeah. But it's been a hell of a week for for a hell of a couple of weeks. Mark Millar. Has been on a terror uh, on Twitter, and it's fucking great, by the way. And I, you know, he got a lot of shit. You know, oh, big time. he got a bunch of yeah. late night cons- concerned phone calls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From uh, the Whisper colleagues. Network. Yeah, <laughs> it was on fire. <laughs> Could you ease up going hard, going hard on Gail Simone, please? She's like an integral part of this Whisper Network. Okay? She's an integral part of the destruction of the comic industry. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mark finally came out and said what some of us have been saying for a long time. But the difference is, is that Mark's on, you can't cancel Mark. Uh, he doesn't need the money. He yeah. has multi-million dollar deals. Uh, you know, he doesn't make any money out of the comics industry, but he loves it. Um, mm. So when he comes out and says something, uh, people take list- notice of it, and 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 it gets them all riled up because they know they can't cancel. He yeah. doesn't. He doesn't take any money for from his comics. Yeah, that was pay- that was the big the biggest stone is when they're like, oh, you're just doing this to promote your comics. Like, I don't get I don't get anything from these. Yep, I do. They could sell a billion. I wouldn't make a a bean out of it. Yep, I do this because I love comics. I yeah. literally just do them because I love comics. It's just like yeah. Well, he's got what uh, Humphrey Bogart used to call "fuck you" money. Yep. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which is a wonderful place to be. Well, he's gone from he's like Elon. Well, he's not quite Elon, but you know, he's he's kind of like gone from go fuck uh, from fuck you money to go fuck yourself money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's the type of money that he's got, and it's you know, it's through his IPs and the films and everything, you know, yeah. and but the fact that he he still does comics and he does it out of love. Shows, I mean, that just puts him so so much above everyone uh, that is, you know, the the cancel pigs that are going after right. him, uh, yeah. who are not coming from a good position. And that's a great metaphor, cancel pigs. It is. They are pigs. They're rooting around with their noses in the mud, yeah. and yeah. they're looking for scraps of food. Yes, uh, uh, because they, uh, what you know, what I had posted about that whole Mark Wade thing too was that uh, you know you, you got to be careful what you wish for if you want it to burn down. Uh, the business, because uh, there's a difference between fans and backers. Fans support you with their tweets and their attaboys. Backers support you with your wallets. Yes. And, and you know, uh, if you're not ready to transition out of the mainstream comics uh, and you don't have a backup plan when it does burn down, you're screwed, dude. You know, uh, Mark, you I think know. Mark really told on himself as well. He did. He really. T- I mean, he he wasn't saying anything. You know, probably any of us didn't know about Mark, but uh, yeah, he really kind of told on himself that the the industry would rather burn down than Ooh. dare create product that people actually want to buy. But of course, they got to phrase it differently. Uh, would rather see the comic industry burn than curtail the all right fucking yeah. what the, shut up you stupid yeah. like he, like uh, i mean he's an absolute buffoon anyway mm-hmm. he called a black guy a white supremacist once that's that, that shows how fucking yeah. retarded he is uh yeah. but yeah they would rather and that's about control they would rather burn the industry down the people who are in it than have control wrestled away from them mm-hmm. whereas mark he'll come into the industry and he'll try and fix it it's like when Mark said, "Yeah, we need to we need to bring back people who know the industry. We need to to put them in charge." You got too many marks. You got to say Malar or Wade. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah, Mark Malar. Yeah. By the yeah. way, yeah, Mark Malar says, you know, we need to bring back uh, some some fucking old heads that know what they're doing to guide this this industry. And then you got somebody like Heidi McDonald, an absolute useless sack of shit, uh, who I think's at massive now. 
wow, way to fuck your own company before you even started, buddy. Well done. Uh, and, and she was just like, yeah, I agree. But it's like, who are the right people? No, Mark knows, Mark Millar knows who the right fucking people are. You know jack shit about shit. You're a fucking blogger, a failed blogger. And that's all you'll ever fucking be. To shut up, let the adult do the talking that knows what he's fucking talking about. And he's the one that can do that. But that just shows exactly where Mark Wade was coming from because it's people like fucking Heidi McDonald and Gail Simone and those fucking twat waffles that actually have some semblance of control within these industries because they get positions of, of power or authority and they would rather have it burned to the ground mm. than have that taken away, that wrestled away from them. Yeah, the kingdom of the ants. It's a perceived uh, level of power, but it's a power in a in a fading uh, a fading power structure. Mm. Uh, you know, you, you've they've they've got really no power, and they they're clinging like uh, rats to a sinking ship to the old ways and the old guard. And anybody who speaks up and says that uh, you know the emperor's not wearing any clothes, you know, are, are automatically piled on. Uh, when yes. you know, I've been in the business forty years. I've seen all the ups and downs, you know. And I'm telling you that that uh, this is not a good time. This no. is not a good time. And they're they're lying about it. The companies are lying about it. You know, they say, oh, it's it's uh, stronger than ever. You know, retail sales are up. Blah, blah. Well, if you listen to the retailers that were on uh, uh, Miller's show, mm. you know, they, they were the telling you, no, sales may be up because we're sell we're having to we're having to sell Funko Pops. Yes. Which is not what they got in the business for to sell tchotchkes and all that kind of stuff related to pop culture. They wanted to get into the business to sell comic books, to tell yes. stories, yes. uh, to, to sell these stories and talk about them and have have fun. And and that just ain't happening. If if you need any proof, all you have to say is a healthy industry does not cut rates, does not fire staff, mm -hmm. and does not get kicked out of their swanky offices. No. And they yeah. and they have well they do now but the it was due to attrition, uh, they didn't have one distributor for decades, uh, right. with that and no other distributor that was even willing to uh, to compete with them and and they it, don't care about the background of their writers artists inkers letters just that they produce great work that people purchase. Mm -hmm. Show this me. Well, like I girl. said, and uh, I wrote a couple articles on Twitter uh, about this, how to save comics. Yeah. And, and one of the things that uh, I, I tried to stress is is that you have uh, there's there's no uh, impetus for creators to work for Marvel and DC Comics uh, because they own everything. They decide your pay rate. I mean, what other business is there where they decide your rate? You know, mm -hmm. if you hire a lawyer, he'll laugh at you and say, "Well, here's what I'm going to pay you." But in the comic industry, it's fine. And by the way, anything you create, we own entirely. So, uh, you know, until they give you a reason to give them your your great ideas, uh, you, all you're going to get is second and third tier ideas from some of these creators that are clinging to the idea that uh, that uh, I need to be um, uh, to justify myself by working for this major company, which at one time was the the only game in town. You know. Yeah. The other meme I couldn't find. It's the same picture from Chuck Dixon. Oh, here it is. This is the. <laughs> you got to play this one. <laughs> that one's good. This one's better, X Ray Girl. Here you go. That one's good. This one's better. <laughs> yeah, the second one's the better one. Look at Chuck Dixon, dude. Yeah, he's just savage. Uh, but this one's Chuck better. Chuck Dixon, by the way, whose who's, uh, Alpha Core book just uh, is currently on $1.13 million. Uh, with a month left to roll on the campaign. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like my, like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Savage. So good. Uh, oh, lots of rumors swirling around Mark over the many, many years. Uh, oh, yeah, but this is it. This is why Mark's being so Mark Wade is being so vocal because he's seeing this as an, an opportunity to to irk his way back in uh, to to something that he's been very much pushed out of. Hollywood don't want anything to do with him because they know he's a fucking psycho. Yep. The comic book industry didn't really want anything to do with him because they know he's a fucking psycho. 
Uh, but now if he's he's playing the right side of history card and seeing if that works out for him. But you're just a psycho. Uh, you want some more bad news? Let's let's before we get into some good stuff. Well, uh, good stuff. X Files. You like that show, The X Files? I like. I, uh, I really like. I, I love the original. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm humming because I know where you're going with this. <laughs> uh i'm trying to figure out which article we should go with yeah, we'll i didn't go. like when they came back uh a few years back they did those extra episodes they they did yeah. and like within those there was a couple of good ones but they were mostly yeah. shit they were, they were mostly they were shit, mostly shit. They, yeah. they they just didn't have the chemistry or something the one that where where they had the guy who was definitely supposed to be like um darren mcgavin in uh, a coal shack uh, you know, with the 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 seersucker suit and all yeah, that, yeah. I thought that one was kind of cool. It was a nice little send up of of Night Stalker, or yeah, Night Stalker. Yeah, the the, the, the Mister Chuckle Teeth one that was really fucking good. That the the just, and and the one with the guy from uh, uh, the New Zealand guy, I can't remember the, who turned into a lizard. That one was pretty good too. But the, <laughs> all the other ones uh, were fucking shit. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, looks like uh, we heard rumors about this and it looks like they're going to do it um because like when you think x-files you think ryan coogler don't you who uh the director of wakanda forever and oh. black panther and creed uh is this tv show or movie this is going to be a tv show okay ah. it's going to be a show uh -huh. as far as i know yeah new x-files oh. being developed by disney uh with <laughs> <Black Fucker>. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you say that word, it's already dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh this is fucking terrible. So I just tweet out no, like fuck no. Like this, like leave it alone. Just leave it Jeez, alone. Can we can we just take a minute to appreciate how fit as fuck Gillian Anderson is? Yeah, I I'm I am in, I'm in her fan club. She's sure. eating English food now, you know, because she lives over there. Yeah, she does. She's uh I think she's yeah. half English anyway. Is she? Yeah, she, uh, she's she either half English or English. She she grew up in the UK. Well, she definitely she went right. over to America. Now yeah, she thinks um, she's back in the UK. Well, she, I think she married a Brit, didn't she? It wasn't. Well, in any case, she, uh, this clip I, <laughs> I caught and it made me kind of want to see the show of The Crown. She's in it. And she plays Margaret Thatcher. She's like, Thatcher, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I seriously, I checked her. I was like, damn, that's good as an impression. Like she does a pretty damn good job. She's got a sexiness about her that uh, I've always liked. Yeah, she's fucking hot. She's fit. <laughs> what the, the way that that was said. Between yeah, yeah. And, and there's a first compare and contrast. <laughs> she's got a, she's got a certain story. sexiness, a certain demureness about she's fucking hot. She, <laughs> she gets me hard. Yeah. <laughs> she made my dick hard. Ah. Okay. I didn't All go right. that far. Slowly back away. Oh, Slowly. yeah, you did, Gary. Yeah, you fucking did. Slowly back away. <laughs> Oops, hang on. Scully was the best. She was great. Uh, while there are many cinematic universe littered around TV and film, it looks as though Disney is set to bring another one to our screens, oh. and this time oh. around, it's one for the sci-fi fans. Disney is no, reported to be in the works of developing a new version of the X-Files set to... They're doing Buffy next. Mahler. <gasps> Buffy no. will be next. They own the rights to Buffy. You don't think they're going to let that fucking sit, do you? Well, they tried it. In fact, they didn't even get off the ground. Well, they'll get another one off the ground. They'll try again. I forget. Did that fall apart because of Joss Whedon getting canceled, or did that fall apart in general? It fell apart in general. In general. In general. Because the pr people were just... Yeah. If, I did, funny, I Gary. Did you say all this as if, like, we'll be there day fucking one. <laughs> they put oh, that I'll, shit I'll, I'll be covered. It'll be terrible. It'll uh, be awful, and Hey, it'll give an excuse to promote Buffy, so. Yep. Uh, set to be produced by none other than Black Panther and Creed director Ryan Coogler. The news is most recently reported by Bloomberg, who also shared the news that Netflix are producing a Peaky Blinders franchise. I like Peaky Blinders. Mm -hmm. Peaky Blinders, good. Uh, the original whisperings of a new X-Files series came earlier this year when Deadline revealed that the original series creator Chris Carter had confirmed speaking to Coogler about the upcoming project, though. This is the first time it has been reported that Disney are involved. Well, yeah, they own Fox. 
Carter had told CBC podcast on co on the coast with Gloria, whatever. I just spoke to a young man, Ryan Coogler, who is going to remount the X Files with a diverse cast. Well, there you go. Yes. So he's he's got his work cut out for him because we've covered so much territory. Uh, he does. We, we, we're gonna we're gonna take a franchise and we're gonna we're gonna inclusion and diversify it because that's been working for us all along. They're gonna put a chick in it. And make make gay, gay, lame and gay, and gay, gay, and then lame. in all fairness, the dude's gonna be gay as well. Yeah, and the boss is gonna be gay, and boss then all the trans. aliens are gonna be fucking gay, gay. for everyone. Yay! You're a gay. You're a gay. You're a gay. Yeah, you get to have a gay. And you wonder why Godzilla's cleaning up at the cinema right now. Because Godzilla's straight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> He's got a badge. He wears a badge saying, "I'm full hetero." Baby. Godzilla fucks. <laughs> yeah. There Godzilla crushes moon. We all knew. You it. guys don't hear it. Hang on. No, we don't hear it. Fucking hey, but some ad fired up from Radio Times. <laughs> it was like some classical music. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Do, 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 do. I had to get rid of that. Sorry, sorry, Chad. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Jillian Anderson, who played Dennis Gully and David Duchovny. You ever heard oh. that song, David Duchovny? Why don't you love me? That was a song from the nineties. Uh, have both revealed more about their thoughts about a reboot. With Duchovny stating he wouldn't be, want to be a part of it if Anderson wasn't. Well, they probably won't be. Which is weird yeah, because... why the, the, the couple Graham, of white people. I <laughs> if I remember correctly, the the last time they left off was a, was a cliffhanger of sorts. Oh. So they came back with two seasons... I think it was 2017 and 18 or yeah, I never I never watched them. 2017 or 19, but uh yeah, their son like gets killed. Their their child Oof. gets killed. Aww. Um and Oof. uh yeah. Or their yeah. It was a while ago. I actually reviewed it on the channel, but I've slept since then. The company told Comic Book TV last year, I don't know. I've never really considered it that. For me, it always is there's no show unless it's Chris and Jillian. So I don't know. Uh, and yeah, without Chris Carter, uh, there are many ways to go about it. But personally for me, X-Files that I'm involved, it consists Chris Carter, myself, and Jillian. So I yes. haven't spent, and, and that's it. And Chris Carter, by the way, the, when, when the X-Files was coming out, most of their plots were taken from Art Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're oh, all really? Lifted, we're all wow. lifted from Art Bell radio shows. That they, The entire wow. lore was taken from Art Bell radio shows. R.I.P. Art Bell, R. I. P. R. Bell the, one of the mm. greatest radio gods ever. Um, and uh, there wouldn't be ancient aliens. There wouldn't be all these conferences. There wouldn't be Forbidden Frontier. There wouldn't be any of Graham Hancock. None of this shit would be around if it wasn't for Art Bell. Uh, and they were lifting heavily from Art Bell, which was fine. They were dramatizing it. Um and uh, I do believe he was even in the background of an episode or something like that. They showed him some love. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Hollywood's out of ideas. They're fucking shit. Uh, and this will be DOA. Fuck this. I hate it. If I made myself clear. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bob. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Can we talk about something good, please? Nope. Is there anything? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? Uh, I hope it is. Hey, Bob. <laughs> he's so awkward. <laughs> he looks like he's just rolled out of bed as well. Not, not even bothered to. He's got this little Bob, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like he's got bed hair. It's like half oh, his fucking Dude, hair. Stuff. He's he's like. He's on the spectrum a little bit, so... You know. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he yeah. is. He has uh, Asperger's, doesn't he? Yep. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. You he do does. Now. He does. It's all good. Uh, yeah, we could talk about something good. You boy. Godzilla. 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 Minus one. Well, as finally saw it, 
Uh, when did you see it? As? Last night. Well, it only came out here on the 15th, for fuck's sake, and we were going to talk about it today, <laughs> so I just had to pick a date between the 15th and today to watch the fucking thing. I don't want to hear your fucking uh, limey when, excuses. When Orgo comes out, then it'll, it'll, it'll premiere in England. Yeah. Well, Bond tends to premiere, but nobody gives a fuck about Bond anymore after that fucking disaster. <laughs> nobody gave a fuck about Gorgo either, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except Chuck. Chuck loves that movie. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I saw it last night. I saw it last night at the cinema on the biggest screen that they had it on, which was... Uh, Bigger is better. Decent screen, yeah. Did you see it on uh, IMAX? Size queen. No, no, no. We went. To, I went to uh, showcase Leeds. Went to the I wanted, showcase. I wanted, to uh, see, I wanted to see it on IMAX, but I didn't. Uh, it wasn't available. Either our uh, AVX, and then I did it in the D box seats where it moves, and it just made the movie like phenomenally better. She, wow. she likes to be in the D box. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, so <laughs> the D it's likes to the be in her. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. you, you know what this movie did? It showcased how. Just how bad and um, immature the American Godzilla movies of the last few years are. Yep. Correct. You oh, know, and that get ready for the next out. one. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that one with Kong looks like a piece of crap. That's <laughs> yeah. Coming out. yeah. Uh, I, I thought the last one with Kong was a piece of crap, where where we had four Kong, you know, wielding a hammer and uh, you know, with superpowers and all that kind of nonsense. Yeah, they got Infinity Gauntlet Kong in the new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no yeah. They're, they're like tag team wrestlers now you know it's like <laughs> it's so stupid uh yeah i i liked uh king of the monsters uh, or yeah godzilla king of the monsters i i thought that one was pretty good although i couldn't stand the the human story uh i was just a 12 year old kid because uh Gitar and rodan were in it and and that was really cool but the other two you know the first one 45 minutes before godzilla shows up and the third one with King Kong were just horseshit, you know, and, and, and what what minus zero showed us is that, you know, th these are stories about humans. You yes. know, the, the monster precipitates the story and drives yes. the story. But without the human interest, uh, you don't have anything other than, you know, a monster running around. And that's the other thing. Godzilla is a monster again. He's he's not a force of nature or uh, a, a monarch of whatever they make him in the U.S. now and what they turned him into in the late '60s. Like a god. Uh, Toho did, but now he's back to being a monster, which is yeah. just fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's um, I like the way they explained it. His attack on Tokyo is that he now sees that as his territory. You know, he's been encroaching on different territories and now Tokyo's in, in an area just like, this is mine now. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is part of my territory. And that's why it's uh, he's in Tokyo. And there, I mean, there were some unbelievably great little nods to uh, the old school um, Godzilla, the music. Oh, yeah, the musical. Well, they, they, they did the dun, dun, dun. And then they did the um, the run, you know, uh, Fear Godzilla run, you know, type of thing, didn't they? Yeah, people going in all the different directions as yeah. he's towering above. And I was like, there, there's some really nice little nods mm -hmm. to the to the uh, old school black and white Godzilla. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's 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 um, I didn't know what I was actually going to go see, and it, and it's a movie about people. It is mm -hmm. it is a movie about people who are coming out of one of the the worst moments in in human history. And nobody really knows how to live. Where, do, where, you know, you got a guy, a, a former kamikaze pilot, who couldn't go through with crashing his plane. So he now feels as if he's uh, a traitor, a failure, a he's coward. Shamed. He's living in uh, shame. Yeah, a shame. Brought shame. You know, yeah. his parents have died in the war, so he 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 has to try and live on somehow, and he doesn't quite know how to do it because he's. Mm -hmm. He's got the ghost of the past, the ghost of the people that uh, died because of his, well, cowardice, of want of a better phrase. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's difficult to say cowardice in such horrendous situations. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the, the woman with the child. It's not even a child. Her parents are killed as well uh, in, in World War II. And she doesn't yeah. quite know how to exist without a family structure. So she forces herself into a, a family structure with... A guy who's not a husband and a, a and random a, dude. Yeah, a yeah. child who's not her daughter, but she needs that 
structure. Yeah. She's desperate for that structure. The woman who lost her children, who who oh who uh, doesn't know how to exist without her children, and so obviously then then the other child's brought in for her to look after, and then the soldiers. A lot of soldiers who understand that their government let them down. Their government yeah. sent them to die, ill prepared. And and what you know, what do we do? Because we've got a government that's a bunch of assholes and, and we're fighting in a war which which we didn't particularly want to fight in. So mm -hmm. how do we exist? How do we move forward as people? And and uh then it turned out because of Godzilla, the thing that brings them together is uh we need we need to put ourselves uh on the line to allow other people to live. Mm -hmm. to allow a, a yeah. japan to live and heal and and if it means us giving our lives because of of godzilla then that is what we will sacrifice ourselves for mm -hmm. and and that is i mean that kind of humor at the mm -hmm. end i ain't gonna lie at the end of that film i was fucking i had a lump in my throat i was mm -hmm. choked Aww. because of the because of the 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 way that the whole story developed with not just the kamika former kamikaze pilot but the people on the ship just that little yeah. bit with the captain of the ship from from when he was trying to rally the troops to to when he was on the ship i was just like i relate more to this captain than i do to any fucking marvel character that's oh, come yeah. out in, oh, in, yeah. in 10 years it, or so and the kamikaze uh, pilot his 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 uh his through line uh was really a story of redemption Yes, uh, oh, 100%. You know, it, it, mm -hmm. that's, that was the whole heart of this movie. It was redemption. It was redemption of him as a man. It was the redemption of a nation uh, coming together to fight uh, a, a war that they did not start. Yes. <laughs> this time, yes. Uh, the, the advent of Godzilla. And uh, having to come together and, and, and overcome the, 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 the shadows or, or the ghosts of what they just came out of. One of the amazing effects to me is, yeah, Godzilla looked great, but the, the, uh, the city, the cities of Japan in rubble, post-war rubble, mm. the way that they portrayed that was just amazing. You know, yeah. you know, they had to green screen that and, and whatever, yeah. but my God, it looks so authentic and really, really, um, yeah. uh, uh, inculcated you into the story itself because without that, you know, you're on a soundstage. Yes. This re you really felt like half these people are living outside with with lean tos, you know. And and we progress over time in the story, like I think a four year period. Yeah, and you start to see them coming out, and 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 it's just amazing to think of what that would be like to uh, uh to to just first get rid of the rubble. Uh, and then to rebuild, rebuild. You know yeah. That, yeah. that 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 stuff is fascinating to me, and it, and it shows the tenaciousness of mankind, and uh, and how you know we can we can rebuild, we can always rebuild, and they're rebuilding relationships. He's rebuilding, you know, his commitments, yeah. and they're rebuilding a city, and and that that people is a great movie <laughs> because oh, of all man. that stuff. And I'm you know, like obsessed with the love story of a blended family which i mean that woke people should love that right you know <laughs> creating a family of people who are not related to each other right and you have this woman who is not saying things she will support her man even though they're not together and literally sacrifice herself to save him so that he well, can that, that showed her love that showed that yeah. she she mm -hmm. actually really loved yeah. him and yeah. we'd only seen her as, oh no, I'm gonna be saying I'm gonna you I'm know gonna hook myself to you <laughs> yeah. and and we're gonna have this family unit. But you could tell that she was deeply in love with him. Mm -hmm. And uh she wanted I mean the moment the, the moment you really knew was when he had the nightmare, the nightmare of the, oh, yes. the soldiers dying. And and she PTSD. just like clutched, yeah, clutched, yeah, he had PTSD, exactly. Yeah. And she just clutched her, clutched him to a to a to a bosom. And you could just there was just so much sort of heart in that whole scene because you knew that this was a guy suffering from trauma, suffering from PTSD, mm -hmm. suffering from excruciating shame. guilt. Yeah, just yeah, shame and he, guilt. He and, had and, two layers of it: the layer of that he 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 uh, wigged out on his commitment and did yeah. not di dive his plane in. Then he fakes that there was a problem. He lands. That's when Godzilla shows up. 
Mm -hmm. And everybody, all the mechanics and stuff are there, all get killed except the one guy because yeah. he was unwilling, or at least you know, the thought was he uh, that that maybe those those twenty millimeter guns were going to kill the Godzilla. It probably would have been ineffectual anyway, but he didn't yeah. do it, and he does so he doesn't know it, and so he feels guilty about that too. Mm -hmm. And then the great the great way that he brought the the survive mechanic to help him, yeah, yeah, was to send letters of abuse. Right. You know, you it's your, your fault that they all died because he knew that that would get him to, to come. Yeah. Uh, to, to Japan because he knew that if he reached out, it was like, please come help. It'd be like, go oh, fuck off. Then he got yep. his ass kicked. In the yeah, head. he did. <laughs> <laughs> he, knew he, he probably knew that he would, you know. And, yeah. uh, but and, and, he's you know, that guy, that guy learning to forgive. Mm -hmm. uh, that guy understand because remember their first interaction when he, when he said to him, um, we can't find anything wrong with your plane, right? And then he's and then he's just like, what, what, what are you trying to say? Because he's on the defensive, and then he then he sort of lets him storm off, and then he goes to him, and it, 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 he's instead of chastising or doing anything, he says, "Oh yeah, don't worry." He says, "We understand, you know, there is why throw yourself life away for for a cause which is already lost. It's already lost. We yeah. we, we get it, you know, and and that he had already sort of forget." He had already no, covered for him forgiven. in the beginning. Yeah, yeah the, he, he yeah. knew. He knew exactly what the score was, and he was like, "I get it. We're fine." Yeah. Then, of course, the mechanics get killed by the the small Godzilla, which is the unaffected nuclear Godzilla, uh, basically a remnant of a din dinosaur era, which was patrolling still. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then then he again, once again learns to 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 understand and appreciate the fear the. When you see the destruction on the scale of what Godzilla have been doing, it allows you to put into perspective so much of of your uh, you, the way that your mentality works and and, and how small you truly are. Because mm -hmm. you know Godzilla is this beast, so is war. Mm -hmm. War is this her horrendous beast where your government who underfeeds you, undersupplies you. Uh, and, and throws you into a conflict you can't win. Then tells you to just kill kill yourself for us. Kill yourself for honor. Kill yourself for the country. And and they they're realizing that's not the case. You're literally being fed. You're being you're being fed to a, to a machine to a government which has let you down. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I love the way that they, you know, they didn't try and place any blame with America. Or with with war in general, yes. they they place yeah. a lot of the blame at, at the at the feet of the Japanese government and the way that the Japanese government had 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 let them down, mm -hmm. um, and 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 that was that was really good because it made it such a personal story, uh, yeah. and they were they were all fighting their personal wars, mm -hmm. and, and I and I tweeted out um, last night when I got back in, I tweeted out that that absolutely phenomenal line. Uh, at the end of the movie, where um, somebody says, I won't say who, because if you haven't seen this, you need to see this movie. Even though we're discussing spoilers, I won't say this spoiler. But the person says, Hail Hydra. Is your war? <laughs> yeah, Hail Hydra. <laughs> Heil Hitler. And then they just joined the SS. Uh, is your war finally over? Uh, and and it was just like, fuck, that hit me hard. That hit me hard. That did. Yeah. That hit yeah. me really fucking. I was just like, oh, yeah, mm. yeah. I I liked how you know the uh, uh, the mechanic and the the kamikaze guy, you know, were at loggerheads for a while, and you know he finally thinks that the guy is going to do the right thing. He's going to crash his plane into Godzilla and end it all, end his own life as he should have originally. Blah blah blah. But we don't realize until they flash it back that you know. Uh, he wanted him to live and he puts the ejector seat into that. Yeah. Uh, into yeah. The um, yeah. You know, there's a couple, couple things that bothered me in the movie. And if, if I'm being honest, one was uh, uh, rotary planes did not have ejector seats. Uh, and he, he, they, they, they talked about, you know, you know, uh, ejector seats in their planes and they, they didn't exist in world war two. Mm. Uh, they put them in, in, um, in jet planes, jet planes, because yeah. you had to have that to get out of the canopy because you're traveling at such a fast speed. Um, so that was like a little historical issue I had. Uh, the other thing was I really didn't like the Godzilla spines 
you know, like when he was getting ready to use his flame, going up like a mechanical thing. Oh, I, I love that. I love that. I thought I it was really, cool dramatic. That doesn't happen in nature anywhere. I mean, I mean, if they're going to go up, they'd all go um, up together. They wouldn't go up oh, one oh, at a yeah. time in a, in a mechanical way. Um, and uh, so I didn't care for that. I liked it. Molly? <laughs> just, just, just Clara, you're saying you don't like the way, because that's the prep for the laser, right? Yeah. yeah, it goes up the back slowly, and, and then... his, yeah. spine, his spine starts to like activate yeah. up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You, and so you don't like, see that in nature true, anywhere. True. Correct. I mean, if something, if, if an animal is going to uh, 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 do something, let's say spit a poison or something like that, uh, you know, it, it, and, and he needs something to do it, it doesn't go up like a mechanical thing. It would, it all go up at once, and then he'd release the flame or whatever it may be. You know, it was it was way too mechanical, like like Mecha Godzilla would do that. You but know? like for the sake of fantasy, there are no animals that shoot a laser, so maybe we, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, I sort of I sort well, of saw it. Yeah, but that. you know what? You 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 create the rules and you have to stay within whatever rules you create whenever you tell a story. Uh and, and if you're if we're telling everybody that this is an animal uh that that shoots fire like a dragon, which is what he is. Uh, then there are certain things that, uh, you know, go along with that. And, and, and uh, having a mechanical aspect to him uh, goes against the organic nature of, of the animal. How would you do it then, um, just out of curiosity? Well, I would do it the way the American one did, where his spines may glow, and the, the, and the glowing spine might rise up, and then the flame comes out, but, but not have the, the, uh, the things popping up oh, like I, that. Because I, I love that. I did love that visual. But I thought his I thought his atomic blast was incredible. Well, the yeah. atomic blast being I thought it was a, so well done. Atomic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, really? it was an I atomic, mean, and it was a legit atomic. But it was atomic yeah. bomb he was dropping. Fuck. You know, that was insane. Out. That was a lot cool. of. That was like cool. the way that it wasn't when he when he when he charged up to do that. It, it wasn't. The blast was never point blank, or or, or small vicinity. You were he was firing into the distance because of the. The radial blast that it was that it was yeah. producing, uh, and then the fact that when he does do it, he, he literally has to like he sort of like pause for for a period of time uh, because yeah. of the amount of energy and and, and and thrust that it's taken to to do that blast, which of course causes one of the great moments in the film with the the blast going through uh, Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, which was which is just great because when the guy when the when a kamikaze pilot sort of Again, you sort of have that PTSD moment, that sort of blackout moment of of shock, just utter shock, and then he turns and he, then you then Godzilla comes back into just raw, and it's just like, oh, these are th some Dude, of these visuals the, are no, the, fucking spectacular. I, I was not expecting that the first time I saw that. So like the when it just went, poof, and I'm like, yeah. whoa, that was whoa, fucking awesome. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like <laughs> yeah. a whoa. But when you see the actual mushroom cloud yeah, come up, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, oh, shit. A wonderful image of Godzilla yeah. like looking at the mushroom cloud that was just plowing yeah. up. It's like, damn, that is a, that is a hell of a shot. That is that was fucking awesome. Such yeah. a good movie. Now, now the, the, of course, this is a giant monster movie, and everything, but it's funny. The most unrealistic thing in this movie is actually something that involves the humans. To me, it's oh, really? it's when when they have when they have uh, Godzilla underwater, and the, you know they did that thing, and they were going to get the water pressure to destroy him. Yeah. Um, uh, and they got to get him back up, and uh, the, they don't have enough lift in the ship because you only got the one battleship or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Uh -huh. So then all of a sudden, all the guys show up in their tugs and everything, and this armada of tugs oh, comes out, and that's it. the rah rah moment and everything like that. Well, then two seconds later. All the tugs are connected to the thing with yeah, tow yeah, yeah. and cables, yeah, and, they're, and they're, all, they're all pulling. We're just you know gonna have to all assume. To we're gonna have to all assume that took a couple of hours minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, on, a, on a rolling sea. On a rolling sea. Okay, maybe six. <laughs> maybe six hours. <laughs> and Godzilla's just waiting around down there. Can can somebody get me up here? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just chilling. It's fine. I've done yeah, this before. Yeah. I mean, that was the only thing where uh, you know we're it, best then, then movie just, of the year. Yeah, best then, best then movie of the year. Oh, the the um, just the 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 bit where it does rise up, and uh, when you see Godzilla charging up. When they realize it's failed, when they got him up, he hasn't taken enough damage. 
you see great damage on him. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really good, the sort of damage that you see on him. And then it... Oh, fucking hell, man. When the, when the music, when everything, all the sound just cut. And oh, it just silence. went silent. And you just saw the charging, the charging, the charging. And then it was oh, just oh, like oh. lifting his head to, to do, to just wreck the ship. Yeah. And, every, and, and the soldier, I mean, that, that's one of the things that just got me is instead of like the fear in the soldiers, instead of seeing them run, because we've seen people just run all film and they just like stopped and they were taking their hats off and they were literally fucking saluting, you know, saluting and, and, and getting ready for going out with pride. Yeah, they're you know, going right. out with yeah. with uh, with dignity and and knowing that we did we did what we tried. You know, we did our best here. Could, did and all then when the do. plane comes in, and, oh, oh I'm getting goosebumps the, right now, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <goosebumps>. <laughs> so just, fucking dude, good. Just, you see the plane oh. just turning and kamikaze and then they realize all the soldiers Hot realize damn. he's gonna fucking ram him. He's gonna ram and Godzilla. I was so scared and of him, like, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh sacrifice. fuck man it was uh i was just like <laughs> i'm not <laughs> crying i'm not crying oh, i don't i don't understand what feelings are what is Why going is on my face so wet what is <laughs> my eyes hurt you put you getting that i was getting that you know that sort of lump that sort of like dry hurt in your throat you're so like fuck man just that is great storytelling. That is just mm -hmm. such good storytelling. Yeah, uh, and, and how uh, they uh, how they wrapped it up too, and and then left you with the possibility of the sequel. Oh you yeah. Know, uh, oh you yeah. Know, for anybody listening, the spoiler alert yeah. is up. So you know, yeah. turn turn your ears off right now because I'll give you a couple seconds. Do to do to do. Boom. Okay. <laughs> when when the pieces are going down and they start to reform reform and, yeah and then you hear the godzilla roar i was like okay <sighs> there on my arm yeah okay oh! i mean yeah. this is doing phenomenally at the cinema it's now turned over more in america than in japan yep uh it's it's on something like 54 50 57 57 and a half million 13 million dollar budget so it had to hit somewhere probably 30 with the amount of I don't think this had a huge amount of marketing, probably around 30 million actually to break even. So this is this is nearly doubled its money already. Only just opened in the UK, uh, which you know might bring in another million or so. Um, but I mean well, what's its total take right now? 57 and a half million. On a twelve worldwide. million dollar investment, on a 12, 12 13 million, million dollar yeah. budget, yeah. And you usually have to almost double that for the uh uh advertising budget and stuff like that so uh but i don't think they spent that for the advertising because uh other no. than social media you know you're not seeing you know super bowl commercials or no or no no I, 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 football commercials for this movie yeah no they, having, they, having i think about 30 30 million to break even they promoted it at anime Montsuri, didn't they x-ray girl pretty sure they did i wasn't there so oh, you weren't there no. god we've been to so many places i forgot but i'm pretty sure they <laughs> they promoted it there Okay. But, the, but, the, but, but I'll tell you it. what, though, some of the great, some of the greatest visuals were when it was underwater and just the spines were up, mm -hmm. and the way that it just wrecked those ships, some of those ships, and and uh, oh, jeez, man, it, it had some, it, it really did has just uh, phenomenal dude. visuals for something that's so low budget to have that mm -hmm. incredible visually. It, oh. When it was chasing the 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 mine sweeping boat, uh, oh. fuck, that was awesome, dude. That was so yeah. good. So like very jaws-esque, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just that had was the insane. Yeah, cheek blown out. Then oh, you just yeah. sort of bubbled together again, and the regenerative, re, you know, the regenerative power of of Godzilla. You know what I never realized uh, until recently. I read, you know, I always wondered why Godzilla had this kind of like really lumpy skin. You know what, what mm. that was all about, and those are radiation burns. Oh. oh. That's why his yeah, skin is yeah, like yeah, yeah, because that, that's supposed to reflect burn. the radiation burns that the the Japanese people actually had. Didn't yeah. the guy the guy who was originally in the suit just passed away? Uh, yeah, he, oh. Oh. R.I.P. Oh, no. R.I.P. Uh, real quick, little lightning round here. We're mm. at the end of the year. Uh, uh, unfortunately for Steve Weintraub, at the uh, our last Friday night tights of the year that as won't be at. We're going to do our you know top five. Uh, worse, but uh, what's your favorite movie 
this year, Mahler. The Killer, David Fincher mm. on Netflix. Okay. What about you, Az? Sorry, Graham. Uh, definitely Indiana Jones and the, the Dial of Dysentery. <laughs> That's your favorite movie of the year. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, definitely Shazam 2. Fate. Uh, sorry, man, I'm only kidding. <laughs> definitely Quantum Mania, Ant Man and the Quant Colin. Co no, just joking. Um, <laughs> oh, man, this is a toughie. I love Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I love that film, but. Uh, I, I wanted to, you know, that's a film that I want. That's a pure just action popcorn film. Uh, I, think John I have Wick not. Over there. I I was so John Wick. John Wick Four was fine. It's a great action film. I loved it. But but Godzilla minus one to me was a film I didn't think it was going to be. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be a bunch of Godzilla. Re you know, we're just going to be introduced to the primary cast and then Godzilla wrecking shit. Yep. And it didn't. It, it turned out to be an incredibly well written, uh, well cast, well acted um, film about people who didn't know how to live, and were trying to find ways to live in 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 a post World War Two world where another war turned up on their doorstep, and uh, yeah, it, it just from a from an emotional standpoint, from from a writing standpoint, uh, I was absolutely blown away. Yeah, uh, and, and I, the, dude, I need to see this film again. Dude, the character, the character work was like my, it, it like it was mind blowing. Like how good it was. Absolutely, how fucking it just, good it was. It just it, it, it was also to me, it was, it was a drama film a, that just happened yeah. to have a monster in it. Yeah, but it, it showed to me mm. everything. It just highlighted everything wrong with Hollywood. Yeah, uh, in yeah. A, in a, in a yeah. nutshell. Yeah. Um, this was a film that you can relate to. It doesn't matter where you come. You know, I'm not Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. I wasn't a Japanese soldier in World War fucking two. No, never mind a kamikaze pilot or anything else. And I don't know what it's like to have a 150 foot fucking monster uh, trample through my town. But you can relate to everything that they're going through. You can un empathize and understand uh, the struggles that these are, these characters are going through because it's a character piece. It's a it's a film about humans, and and um, and that's what makes it so relatable. Uh, and and so for me, I think it's got to be Godzilla minus one because um, I just you know I didn't expect what I was going to get, and what I got was an incredible character piece that just so happened to have Godzilla in it. About you, Graham? You see any good movies this year? Now, are these movies that are in a the movie theater or wherever? wherever yeah. uh well i saw dragged across the concrete this year uh which i really loved <laughs> that's a um uh what's his name taylor uh the guy who does um uh yellowstone taylor oh Rudin. taylor Sher uh sheridan 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's one of his movies uh, dragged across the concrete freaking that was awesome with mel gibson um but in the theaters i haven't seen too much stuff but of what I did, my fa my two favorites, and it's a to it's a toss up. Uh, one was Godzilla minus one. The other was uh, uh, for the very reasons that that as just said. Uh, and then the other one is um, uh, Top Gun uh, because it was unapologetically pro American, and mm. uh, they recaptured the characters uh, uh, really well. Uh, they aged it out really well because the the Navy transitioned from the F fifteen to uh, the F eighteen. Uh, and they they went into all of that and 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 uh, I, I really loved that movie. I thought that was a lot of fun and uh, just great action. The 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 flying sequences were if you watch the original Top Gun at the time in 1986, 85, 86, it was 86, 86, um, you know, the sequences in the cockpit, you know, it's clearly, you know, they got, you know, rear projection stuff and guys moving the, the cockpits around. And this one, my God, uh Dude, uh, I think it's they're really up there in F eighteen. It's insane, and the it's, and the, it's, the 4K is really good. By the way, yeah, it's, uh, it's not it's a lot of good amazing. 4K. Yeah, like, but watch it. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. uh, what about you, X ray girl? Uh, I have a bit of a three way tie. Um, you have a three way. The Three way, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if one counts technically, and the one that might not count would be Ghostbusters. Because I saw it for the first time this year, it was such well, a fun. That's the 1984 film. Okay. Yes. 
Yes. yes. The original Ghostbusters. Yeah, oh she had God. never seen it. And I and I what? made her I it was I found out on a stream and I'm like, you need to watch it now. And she did. I did. Yeah. Twice. Well, I mean, obviously it's it. dated. That's a movie that's yeah. uh, special that's so stuff like dated. But no, so, but you still liked it. I still liked it. I yeah. loved it. And I, I like that it was dated. I think it worked for the the charm of the film. Um, very much so in the uh the really bad uh, I guess it wasn't really CG, the uh, practical effects. I love the goo on the floor and the monsters right. and whatnot. So um, it did it did very good and it did hold up to today's standards. And um, Godzilla minus one for all the same things that Az said and Sound of Freedom. Oh, mm. that one was nice. just I, so I many tears. <laughs> yep. Anybody see Tetris? Yeah. No, I wish I had. That's in I my top. That's in it. my top five. It's fucking good. Very, um, very good. Yeah. Well, if it wasn't Godzilla for me, I I probably would have gone with Oppenheimer. Okay. Oh. I mean, like oh, I heard you, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it's, I thought it's super. It's, I thought just, it's, you know, it's, it's what you know. What it is one of the, uh, Godzilla minus one is a sequel to Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, it's a sequel to Oppenheimer. Uh, he has, <laughs> and, and they made him. As, uh, you know, I was. Please be in the same cinematic universe. Yeah. Yeah. It. It. I mean. <laughs> it, way. It not being my favorite movie, but it's definitely one of the better movies I saw in the theater, uh, and it absolutely should win best pack, best picture, and it won't. It won't. I, I, yeah, I would say Godzilla minus one, Oppenheimer, and then I would probably go Dead Reckoning. So I went. Mm -hmm. I, I would go like uh, Godzilla minus one, Tetris. If you guys haven't seen Air, uh, I talked about this on Flashcast. Air is fucking awesome, um, and probably John Wick. I don't know if I've got. Uh, John oh, would have been in the top five. And Sisu, I like Sisu. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got it, but I haven't seen it. I've got it on 4K, but okay, I haven't seen so it. Okay, so we got a poster here of. Uh, I'll just fucking share it. I don't care. Uh, da -da -da -da. Got me to share it. The uh, casting is that what you're thinking? No, no, no. The, go to Master uh, of the TDS. He's got a Ghostbusters poster that just went up. Mm -hmm. uh, scroll down. He tweets like a 14 year old girl, but uh, some people are hating it. I don't hate it. It 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 kind it's it shows Dan Aykroyd there in the back. So hopefully we'll see some of the older That's Ghostbusters. Fun. Yeah, but uh, is that I mean, a new movie coming? Out? Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. next year. Yeah, yeah. Trailers already happened. Trailer came out a couple and, of months and, back. And this is the kind of Ghostbuster movie we we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> where they're like in the city and stuff. I didn't. I didn't mind the last one. I thought it was fine. It was this cool. was boring. Uh, but you it mean was, the, the it chick was slow. one. No, 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 no. The kid one. <laughs> Fuck the, the chick one. one. The kid one. Oh, uh, the kid. I, I, I thought was, that might be pretty good. It was fine. It was Aykroyd. fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I can okay. barely remember a thing about the. But kid this one. is more like it. This is more like it. Uh, but. Uh, not letting me share. Got Patton Oswald in it. He's a fucking. Twat. Yeah, fucking. God damn, I hate that Patton Oswald. You could stop sharing that. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna try to share something else because it has to be shared on my screen there. Uh, let's see if this works. Yeah. Um, Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah. The, okay, so take it with a grain of salt. But I heard it from uh, <laughs> I heard it from somebody who may or may not work for, Mar that ref. for Marvel. Um, X-ray girl knows who I'm talking about, um, or maybe not. But I'll remind you. Oh, I do. Yeah, uh, told me that this is indeed the cast for the Fantastic Four. So uh, Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic, Vanessa Kirby as the Invisible Girl. Totally fine with that. I'm absolutely she's great. Very fine she's with great. That. Um, uh, she's uh, great in uh, Mission Impossible. She's great yes. in Napoleon. Uh, Eddie, Eddie from uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Stranger Things season four. Uh, what's his? What's the actor's name again? It is Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch. It's and good then, yeah. and then uh, uh, the guy's name is Ebon something or other. I, I Ebonics, uh, not Ebonics, but that's <laughs> playing the thing. It, he will be speaking Ebonic. Okay. Uh, no, it's Ebon. I, I don't know his last name, but uh, that's who is playing the thing. And uh, I don't know what you think, chat. I'm mostly okay with this. This is utterly surprising. 
uh, cause I thought it would just be a bunch of, uh, gay black women, but, um, mm. no, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, not the I, world's greatest Pedro fan. No, I don't um, think he's, I don't think he's a good Mr. Fantastic. I period. think that could be, that's the yeah. weakest link in the yeah. casting there. But yeah. that said, he is popular. I mean, you can't deny that. Mm -hmm. And so from a commercial standpoint, it might not be a bad move. Um, but uh, superficially, I mean, it, it looks it looks good, uh, I would say. Um, I do like the art germ uh, covers, by the way. Mm -hmm. the, interiors, the interiors to that book were fucking appalling. I only got them because the art germ covers. Um, but uh, yeah, cautiously optimistic, just on the casting side. Not, I mean, yeah, yeah. The film's going to be made in its writing. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. The director's not very good. The writer's not very good. So don't get your hopes up. But there you um, go. unless yeah, they completely yeah. change all of that, Graham, you like the Fantastic Four, don't you? What do you think? I, the Fantastic Four would be the only reason I could ever go back to Marvel if they said to me, you can write and illustrate the Fantastic Four. Woo! You heard well, it here they, first. Yep. I, I've, I've put that out in print before. I, mean, I, I would go back and I would do a 12-issue run of the Fantastic Four. I and love I... this series. I love this book. I'm trying to collect the first 102 issues of it. Which, by the way, I need an issue five, anybody who's out there. Mm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting rid of mine. I'm not getting rid of mine. Go find your own. <laughs> Look, I, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm putting that out there. So uh, I, I hate this cast. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I freaking hate this cast. Uh, uh, except for maybe the Invisible Woman. Uh, the others are, it's like, what are you thinking? Um, maybe Johnny. Maybe, okay. You know, that's just a horrible picture of this guy. Uh, maybe if they cleaned him up and didn't make he, him look he's like a, Yeah, he he he. It's not the greatest picture. No, yeah. he's he's actually a good actor, though. Yeah. He's actually yeah, he's really good. good. I don't know. Yeah, about I the, mean, yeah. I've, I've seen Stranger Things, and uh, yeah, he he's he's good in that. But I'm just looking at this picture here. The guy who's playing Ben Grimm. I mean, come on. This this is our this is our tough guy football player. Um, yeah, he looks a little small. Yeah, he looks like a pencil neck. I mean, look at the size of those shoulders. <laughs> uh, you know. No, no, this is this is not Ben Grimm. Uh, I think it just my expectations are so fucking lowered, and it's still gonna sh be shit. It's gonna oh, be yeah. shit. It's get like it, Kevin Feige and this current crew will be the ones making it. It will yep. be shit, no doubt. Yes, mm -hmm. just a little Read surprised. The first hundred and two issues, dudes. That's all I got to tell you. Read the first hundred and two issues. That's yep. all you ever need to know about the Fantastic Four. It's all you need to ever know about comics, Graham. It's like well, Comics well, 101. There is that. <laughs> it's Comics 101. It's yeah. like some of the greatest storytelling ever written in comics. The Fantastic Four are perfect for that medium, for comic yes. books. That's why yes. they've been so difficult to adapt because there's things you can do in those books you can't do anywhere else. And if yes. you ask any real comic book fan, listen, we got a real creator, a legend here, Graham. They all love the Fantastic Four. Like they'll all, all everybody loves the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Um, they they're the first family of Marvel. The, the Thing was my guy. I mean, yes, I, I love the Thing. I, I I felt like if I was if I was any character, you know, there's characters you want to be. And say, oh, yeah, I'd love to be. You know, uh, is is wonderful as Superman and have all those powers. That's not me. But you know who is me? The Thing. <laughs> That's me. It's a, it's a man's man right there. He's a dude. He's just a He's base a dude, and dude. He likes cigars and he likes beer and he likes baseball. And he's got a great sense of humor. Yep. And he never gives up. That's the thing. He'd get his ass kicked, but the thing never gives up. Nope. You look at those fights that he had with the Hulk in those early issues and yep. uh, you know what, uh, you know, FF uh uh 12 and yeah. 25 and 26. Uh, you know, the thing, especially 25, 26, he's getting his ass kicked by the, by the, by the Hulk. And, and, and he's like, you know, he's, I'm not giving up. I'm too ugly to die. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, <laughs> and he just keeps coming and keeps coming, you know? And, and, uh, I, I just love that about the character. It was the first, uh, the first amigo I got was the thing. Oh, really? My mom let me go choose one because they were really expensive for the time, right? So you can have one. And, of course, I just gravitated right towards the thing. I was like, that's the coolest one right there. With this cloth <laughs> clothing and everything. Cloth, cloth, yeah. yeah. I didn't care. Yeah. I the only one worse was Tarzan with his cloth skin. <laughs> I know. Well, they, they, they did the cloth legs for Robin and uh, and uh, oh, yeah. Wonder Woman, too. And I cut them off. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I cut them off. 
But not, the, not the legs, the cloth, okay? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. He got Marcus Cyborg. So, uh, that, quickly. that looks like the FF. Um, that Marvel's fucked. There's the, they, what Marvel needs to do, I've said it, many others have said it, but I mean, let's be real. I'll be nice and realistic. You need, they need to do your, their Secret Wars movie. Just finish this up. You know, write out Kang, make it the high evolutionary from Guardians of the Galaxy was a much better villain. Uh, have him, like, have the movie open with the high evolutionary, I don't know, shoot Kang in the head or something. I don't know, like, fucking end it. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow. how you start it and then you, then you finish it out you get your little fucking cameos in and then you take a 10 year break 10 year break you vault they'll that they'll never shit. do that I know no, but wait, that, fuck, they will no. never do if that they don't want, the if they don't want to fucking listen to my advice that's fine but this is what you need to do if you want this brand to last into the future you need to take a 10 year break you have uh, to do you, it with all brands. You and, have to give. You and have if you to don't, to breathe. and if you don't, it's dead forever. So mm -hmm. what? If take it, what you will, and then recast Spider Man, Captain America, the Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, and then okay. when actors leave those characters, you recast them again, and you stay with those fucking characters. Mm -hmm. And here's the story: you do it, and if you're going to have your end game moment then you, you set everything up in Thor's universe for the Mangog story. Yes. Oh. Where everything funnels up to the release of Mangog by uh, Ulick the Troll. And now Mangog is like this, this the power of a billion, billion beings as he's stomping towards the Odin sword to, to pull that and destroy the universe. And oh my God, the, that sequence where he's pulling that out and Forrest is hanging on, the wind is blowing, the recorders in the background just describing the end of the universe and Thor's got his hammer he's going bam 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 yep, bam yep. on the guy's arm and it's still doing nothing yep. you know and then of course Odin wakes up out of his Odin sleep and you know uh you know freezes him up and stuff but I mean you could you could end it a better way than that but but imagine funneling that story to that moment hell yeah drawing of the Odin sword is the destruction of the universe as we know it no oh, it'd be, be so it. great now instead we're said we're gonna get a girl silver surfer and uh Sil silver surf her surf her, surf her. <laughs> i oh think you could talk with like a california accent i think that'd be great oh yeah so, oh my god like galactus is yeah. coming and stuff <laughs> i'm riding the molly waves up in the universe man <laughs> there's a subject we have to discuss and i can't believe we almost didn't do it this episode what the recent oh. leak for the suicide squad game you guys must have heard about this, right? I I don't give a shit about that game. But go ahead, yeah. talk about it. Tell so you us. give a shit about all the other things we talk about that are burning and dying. Is that yes. the way? Oh, well, yeah, no. right. Yeah, no, the, 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 no. I don't Mullen. mean it in Mullen. a silly way. I mean it in Mullen. a way that yeah. I'm so I'm just I don't give a toss about. Ma I, I mean, mm -hmm. it looks like garbage. Make from us the start. make us give a shit. Tell us about it because I don't know nothing That's about not it. That's my point. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I'm surprised no, you haven't heard of this. I, I haven't. No, I, I've heard, heard people this. say it sucks. That's all I've heard. I don't know not why. Not that. Oh. Okay. So the big news is the Harley Quinn executes Batman, and it's the last uh, voice role for Kevin Conroy playing Batman. Ooh. Oh fuck! F now I no. care. This is why. This fuck is why I don't understand them. why you guys haven't heard of this yet. No. Oh, I think I have heard this actually. God damn it! Fucking fuck Harley Quinn! Somebody kill! Somebody shoot her uh, in the head! I've listened. I'm to dead, the, uh, I'm done audio. with this character. I'm so fucking done with this character. I'm it's so, so over you. I, yeah. I, I would say Talk we'd listen character. to it, but um, you'll get struck down for copyright. Obviously, if you listen to any of this leaked audio, but it's out there. You can find it, and it's like Batman. Apparently, the storyline is like. Um, the the Suicide Squad is sent to kill the Justice League because they're all mind controlled by Brainiac, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. they Sorry they have that. Batman. They tie him up, and there's this big old conversation. Batman says like Harley Quinn sucks, and then she's like, "Yeah, well," and she just shoots him in the head, and that's that's the last time. Like it's so just oh god and everyone's very fucking go. angry about this and it's not a surprise at all well i i'm not i'm not I go mean, to the hell look, the, the, the game looks garbage. go to hell yeah i'm not i'm not entertaining that as the last piece of of, of work by kevin conroy god at all dang. that i mean that's fucking that's that's western entertainment in a fucking nutshell right there well some what's funny is i was yeah. speaking to a friend about this 
and there were like a lot of people's attitude about this is like it was called you're gonna kill the justice league what did you expect to not kill batman it's like um yeah actually what? you could you could call it kill the justice league and you could also not kill batman during it or you could have a respectful way that he's defeated or whatever you don't you don't like tie him up and have harley quinn shoot him in between the eyes like what the fuck why would anyone yeah, want to see that unceremonious death oh absolutely yes but this is this is a bit it, the, the whole game when it was announced it, to me was just it, the I premise was, I was fuck the premise on, yeah on the premise of it it's just like okay we're gonna have a bunch of fucking dog shit characters which have been written by dog shit people because they don't know how to write heroic characters subverting the trope of the hero again because we got no fucking original ideas whatsoever and we're gonna take these amazing <sighs> characters superman batman wonder woman flash green arrow uh green lantern all that kind of stuff and we're gonna defeat them we them with some cutesy with this new pedal it's okay. boring oh. it's, it's fucking boring, boring. fuck you know what I was say, by the way was if someone challenged me they were like i need you to write a story in which harley quinn kills batman by shooting him in the face i'd be like that doesn't no. happen that's not a thing that happens that doesn't yeah, there's no the, universe the, that fucking happens. The most ridiculous yeah. thing that I've ever seen in comics in recent years is when Tom, fuck me, I am an absolute retarded, overhyped piece of dog shit writer King, did his fucking absolute garbage Heroes in Crisis series, which was a fucking embarrassment. Oh, God. And had Harley Quinn defeat Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman at the same time in a barn. It's the lud most ludicrous thing I've ever fucking seen because DC is so desperate to elevate Harley fucking Quinn and she's shit. She was made to be a fucking Joker's mall. That's what she is. Nothing more. And you wanted to make her this, this thing which she isn't. And so you have to bend everything around her to try and make that happen, and it doesn't work. Her films have fucking failed miserably. Every time she's appeared on the screen, even with Margot fucking Robbie, it's failed miserably. Her comic keeps getting fucking cancelled because it's fucking shite, and it's not a fucking Harley Quinn character. It's nothing to do with Harley Quinn. But DC, we got to push our fucking Harley Quinn thing. I'm just this fuck off, fuck off, everything just fuck off. Okay. You haven't a clue what you're doing. I have even better things to add to it. A little oh, DLC okay. of frustration for you. You know, Don't do it. Arkham, Don't do it. A DLC you know, of Arkham frustration. Yeah. Oh, you, you know good. Arkham Asylum? You like Arkham great, Asylum? Yeah. Good game. Oh. Great game. Yeah, you like Arkham Asylum. Arkham City? Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. yeah. Great game. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, the, the Batman of that line. I like the royalties that... on both those games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those games. Pretty popular with Batman fans. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty popular yeah. and pretty loved. Uh, yeah. The Batman from that continuity is the one Harley Quinn kills. No, uh -oh. no, she doesn't. Yeah, well, too late, mate. It's canon no. now, apparently. No, no. <laughs> it's just like everything else. It's just meaningless Fuck shite. Fuck off. Meaningless shite. Uh, oh, just in case. So wait a minute. That Batman was killed at the end of Batman fucking Arkham Knights. Oh yeah, because that's the other. Aren't there, aren't there like several projects of Batman now where Batman is dead? Oh, look, everything starts like with years. Batman's dead. Fucking every fucking CW show starts it's, with Batman's dead. It's fucking retarded. The amount of ways they try to benefit off Batman, but also kill him in their own content. Probably because Warner just like, no, you can't use him in TV. You can't use him in TV. That's no, that. it. it it's indicative of the fucking obvious truth, which is I fucking hate how much Batman is popular in our Batman IP. Yes. That could be someone else. <laughs> that is the most insane thing. You have people with access to this character that are fucking envious that this character is so popular. But there you go. But then you get the G4 business. Why do we hate Batman? Yeah. Well, oh what do you God. mean? Why do we hate Batman? Because uh, he's a rich white guy. And he's just like, oh, just fuck off. Uh, for for those of you in the audience who don't know, uh, yeah. Graham Nolan, co-creator of Bane, many other things, but uh, kind of legendary. Mm. Yeah, kind of legendary. Graham, what do you think kind of, of like... Holly Quinn shooting Batman in the face? <sighs> well, I think it's terrible. Uh, my, I was going to ask, is, is this a DC produced game or is this a uh, licensed out game? It's probably uh, I don't know the nature of it because I don't follow. Um, it's probably licensed. It will be uh, 
but it will be licensed out. But it is from what I gather, like it got leaked because I, I assume this is a Last of Us Two situation <laughs> where some of the people who worked on it were so fucking annoyed that this happened they leaked the shit themselves. It's uh, <laughs> rock steady. It's yeah. rock steady that they're making this as okay. well. Yeah. Well, but even even in a licensing deal, uh, there uh, published would, by would... Warner, by the way, yeah. published by Warner Brothers uh, Games. There you go. Oh, okay. So that is it's internal then. Yeah. Uh, then then they they they've this would never happen under Denny O'Neill. Nope. Uh, no. Because Denny Denny was um uh, the guy who uh, protected the IP uh, of Batman, mm. just like uh, uh, Mike Carlin protected Superman, and the other editors protected their IPs. Um because they knew what it meant to the company. These guys, they don't give a shit. You know, the, the, I mean, I saw Denny uh, blow up one time because uh, Frank Miller was fucking with him on a script and, uh, uh, and of his portrayal of Batman. And Denny just, just, he was dropping expletives right and left about Frank Miller doing this to him. So he cared enough about the character. And the fact that they do this, this kind of stuff, um, uh, I, I'm assuming they're doing it from the point of view that we think it'll be, they think it'll make us more money. But will it really? I mean, I, I think you're damaging your brand. Uh, you 100. You are. Yep. Well, 100. But brand, they don't care. DC and we know that dead company. Yeah. Dead company. We got to get the soups. You guys hear about the Sony yeah. leaks as well? Their plans for the next 10 years got leaked. Um. It's fucking insane. They like uh, all the gaming stuff. It's, it's probably not going to be too interesting or relevant to you, but the I guess the one part you might find interesting is, um, you know, the the interest from Insomniac. I don't know if you're familiar with them as a company, but they're pretty beloved back in the day. These days, they're making less and less things that people mm. are looking to be that interested in. You got your Spider Man. A lot of people love that game. Uh, you already said they're making that Wolverine game. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the clip. I've seen the footage. So, like, the the things that got leaked is essentially that for the next decade, they're basically tied to the hip with Marvel, and they're just going to be making Marvel stuff. Oh, and well. Should have done that 10 years ago. Well, it's uh, the sort of depressing reality is a lot of people like a lot of the Insomniac IPs, but they're just not going to get any traction. I think you get one Ratchet and Clank over the next decade, and that's about it. But uh, the other thing was that the Wolverine game is not looking as fucking interesting as it did before the leaks came out of, like, apparently you spend time in it, uh, as Jean Grey, as well as Wolverines, so it's going to be like a split between them, which is um... they'll be they'll be working in in cahoots with Sweet Baby Pink. Yep, yep. And, and like a, you know, it, it, the, the 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 to short circuit this fucking thing. I I I would want a game where you just fucking thrash people, right? As Wolverine, yeah. I'm not. That's it. But it, it, apparently, it looked like a lot, a lot of, of it, it looked like a lot of um on the rail um elements to the Wolverine game, where he's hitting people, then it. And you get pushed out into a, and into another area. Then he gets sort of yeah, like a yeah. set piece, which and it, it just it just looked like uh, scripted events. Just scripted the, um, events. All right, the Wolverine we, we, game on three sixty as. Hmm? We got to get the, the Wolverine game on three sixty. Me and no. Joe, Jay Long <laughs> fucking streamed it. Uh, it's really really good. It seems <laughs> like a, a lot of leaks game, honestly. Going on. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots it seems of like there's leaks. a lot of and, leaks going on in, in in pop culture right now. I mean, DC's ten year publishing plan was leaked recently and uh it the problem more was shit, they were all blank papers yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's just blank and i will say as well some people's like personal information got like leaked which is shitty and oh. never do that shit like, yep. like no. bank details no, or location don't do that. addresses and stuff That's yeah. well they got hacked don't. too right so, i was gonna say this yeah. Sony's always getting hacked hacks yeah. and leaks and you can clearly tell the fact that they released like a two and a half minute cut scene audio or i think there's video as well of harley quinn killing batman the motivation behind that is not to get people's addresses and you know what I mean? Like the, the, clearly there's different things going on for different yeah, people. Yeah. 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 I, I different, different circumstances. It's not. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I All think right. if somebody's leaking that, sorry, uh, Gary, I think if somebody's leaking that they're actually leaking to say, guys, this is what you're going to get. If you buy the game, don't fucking buy the game. Yeah. Like That's I said, it reminds me of last of us too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause that leak was internal as well. I, I bet you this link it would can't, be. Can't wait for season two of that show. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be all in one. Uh, MP1506 for $19.99 says, here's 20 for X-Ray Girls bar tab since I couldn't make it to the Wisconsin meetup. Now uh, She had plenty of bro booze there. Uh, glad you discovered Freak Toys. Freak Toys is awesome. That guy's yeah. interesting. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's fucking brilliant. 
It's brilliant. I go weekly to look for a good arson action figure for as since I know how much he loves they them Marvel superheroes. Dude, that is an amazing toy store. <laughs> uh, Freak Toys in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Go check Sheboygan. it out. Sheboygan. Uh, Sheboygan. There I. There I. Thario. Thario, God of Rage. I want to say there I go. It's really bad. For $100. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Much love to you all, uh, to you, and hope you all have a great holiday. You too. Merry yeah. Christmas. Uh, what will you all do this month? Uh, what you all do is much appreciated, and I hope to stand as a peer to you guys in the future. I hope you do too. Uh, as help me out. Top Batman runs without Joker and or Harley Quinn. Uh, no, it's sacrilege, but I don't like them. There's a lot of good runs without it's them. Done of great runs without Batman, yep. uh, without sorry, without Joker or Harley Quinn. I mean, yep. uh, get Contagion, get Legacy. Uh, Legacy is the Rachel Gould Bane, uh, written uh, drawn by uh, this chappy down here, uh, yeah. written by uh, Chuck yeah. Dixon. Uh, Nightfall has some Joker in it, but uh, Nightfall is 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 more specifically on the downfall of Batman. It's more a Bane oriented story again created by this guy down here again um I if like you contagion. don't like the joker the guy doesn't like the joker is that what he's saying he says yeah yeah, yeah. doesn't like the joker or Harley well, then Quinn, if you yeah. don't like the joker read joker devil's advocate devil's advocate yeah. yes <laughs> then 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 you will find out why the joker is cool and and you'll like it yep yep devil that's a great one you can find it in yeah. hardcover if you go on ebay if you're, yeah 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 they're clever yeah. Yeah, uh, James Bursey. There's a ton, man. James Batman Bursey. The cult. Get Batman on the cult. Cult's good. As well. uh, James Bursey for $20. Thank you very much. In the spirit of the holiday, could As do a dramatic reading of the Ride of the Rohirrim? Well, he can't, he can't do it on Friday Night Tights, but we will yeah. be doing a dramatic reading because I found it of Santa's husband. Oh. <laughs> We had a figure of Santa's husband at the content house. Oh, he watched I over bet us. He did. I bet he did. <laughs> That's right. Santa's husband by wow. Daniel Kibblesmith. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I bought myself a wife. I bought her. She's mine. Oh, my God. Yeah. Has anybody heard from him? Uh, you know what? Again, I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to offer a cash money reward. I should. What should I offer? If somebody gets me a copy of of. The new New Warriors with Snowflake and Safe Space. Just digital. <laughs> I don't care how you do it. I'll give you a couple grand. Wow. I was going to say some merch, but sure. No, no. No. It'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. Oh, yeah. Because I would do a dramatic reading of that comic book. It would be completely <laughs> worth it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. that That's out there. GaryNerdRotic.com. I know somebody's got it because they printed some of them. They never made it. Uh, but if somebody has a did you, some copy, I will. It would be completely anonymous. Cash money, cash money. If you can get me a copy of that, I fucking would love to have it. I mean, considering the shit they've they've released, the butt baby for Mystique, it's probably nothing. It's probably like not that bad. At least Snowflake and Safe Space were original characters. You know, I mean, they're shit, but at least they're original characters, and you weren't like giving birth out of an ass. Uh, to to f f fucking Nightcrawler crawled out of somebody's ass. The, right. The, the Catholic oh. character. Fucking assholes, man. Yeah, exactly. The Catholic character. Fucking pieces of shit. Yeah. Uh, the Catholic wrote... character was a product of uh, woman love. I know there's Misery. probably... Hey, there's probably an old comic ar artist out there at Marvel that's eating cat food right now. Could probably use a couple grand. Let's do it. Hey, Max. <laughs> you're, you're, you're always fucking begging Rent for two months <laughs> yeah you're, you're always begging like a fucking dog uh sure get hold of it we'll give you a couple of grand uh james bursey for 20 dollars. since talking about the mystical representation it, uh so talking about mystical representation is cool now and there can be only one will ripa and eric uh epic mike be taking the role uh for the fellowship yes yes because, oh. because they are both. <laughs> I can't find it now. Where'd it go? <laughs> because they are both from. 
the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> uh, Eric July, ladies and gentlemen, we love him. Thank you, Austin. I really appreciate him doing that. I felt like after I texted him to as I was like, oh, that probably sounded really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he just laughed. Oh, Josh Kelsey has dropped 1999 like he does because Josh is actually a Chad and then walks out, doesn't say anything, doesn't need, says all he needs to say with his actions. Uh, Andrew Nielsen for twenty dollars says, "Hey, Nerd Roddick, Mahler, and As. I watched Godzilla minus one last Saturday, and I loved it. Also, did you hear that Netflix is coming uh, out with a new One Piece anime? They are. Um, I'm. I'll, I'll check it out. But apparently, they're going to go back to the drawing board, and it's going to cut out some of the filler, right? So it's going to be more. Oh, like a redo of everything. Like a leaner, meaner. But it's like the. Mm-hmm. It's from the people who did Attack on Titan, which I guess was good, and then didn't end well, or something like that. I'm not sure." I, I like the ending. I, I know I'm a massive weeb, and I should know, but I don't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that's big news, and it's probably big news because it probably got watched by a lot of people. What was big news was Netflix let their viewing data out. Like, like oh, they, yeah. they released it for what? the fir- first six months of last year. Yeah, they pulled a weird flex, and there, there, it was there's two things they wanted to accomplish with this. They were They were owning the WGA and the Film Actors Guild, who wanted a piece of their pie, and they're like, okay, fine. And they were also daring the other streamers to release their shit because Netflix Netflix turns a profit now. They make money. So they're like, okay, you know, if some of our shows aren't... Uh, by the way, nobody watched The Fucking Witcher. No, Which, it was no, like, that was nowhere in sight. It was like 173. <laughs> so nobody watched The Witcher. Their number one show, uh, one of the guys follows me on Instagram... Uh, Night Agent. Night Agent was their number one show for the first half. So the, the second half, we don't know about One Piece or anything else from the second half. Uh, and But they'll release that <laughs> twice a year now. So they are being, they followed through on their promise to be uh, transparent. Now, it's internal data. They can't, like, lie about it, but they can certainly make it look as good as possible and i you know and it's all in watch minutes and hours it's not like actual views so good luck figuring it out but that's the way that's what we got uh skeleton bro oh i did it right x-ray girl because he put he put 10 in there uh for 1999 i have a video game suggestion would you be willing to try the risk of rain franchise there are three games but the newest one is a remake of the first they're, uh, they are roguelikes with great hidden lore and fun gameplay loop. You ever heard of it? I have not heard of it. Gammers. I'm still waiting what was the for game again? Uh, Gam- Risk of Rain. Oh, I've heard of Risk of Rain. Yeah. I've never played it. I think Mel's played the hell out of it, actually. I'm pretty sure mm. he's, yeah, it's got a good reputation. Mark says the second one is pretty fun. But he needs to finish Witcher. It'll take him like. Five years, I think. You know, me, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to do, uh, over the holidays, I'm doing, going back to Witcher, and then we're going to do Return to Moria. I'm going to do Return to Moria. Ooh. Those are the gams I'm going to play. The gams. The gams. Uh, Sindek, my boy. Sindek. See, uh, hang on. Uh, Sindek did this. Also the original one. He also works with George. He's fucking awesome. We love Sindek. Great visual artist. Great, great visual artist for $20. Uh, It was great seeing you and George in the Return of the King stream. I missed it because my kid was in the hospital. Oh, no. Why? Are they okay? Uh, We need to fight back together against all of us Amazon. Dude, I need to hear the Just put it in the chat. Don't put another super chat. Is your kid okay? Are we good? Is he out of the hospital now? He or she? Um, we need to fight back together, all of us against Amazon to defend Tolkien's life's work. Merry Christmas to y'all. Merry Christmas to you, brother. Hope your kid's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, we are going to be doing the Christmas Eve stream. Uh, what's up? Oh, he's recovering. He's recovering. He's recovering. So he's okay. So he's okay. He's out of the hospital. Perfect. Good. Good. Glad to hear. Applause. Uh, Christmas Eve stream, we track Santa, we talk some shit, uh, we'll be doing that, uh, Christmas Eve, 
uh, here for. I'll be nice and late my time, right? Nice and <laughs> yeah. super late, yes. Because it needs Past- to be late. Because we'll be we all got family to look after before we do that, all right? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be- I do too. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it's 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 for uh i i've had a few a few a lot of christmases alone uh and i know what that's like so it's for the for the people who can't be around family due to travel or whatever circumstances it's just to keep you company that's all it is and it's a, it's usually a fun stream it's become a bit of a tradition around here uh mr slime for 1999 says gary start in the flash you're my favorite live action flash now oh, oh that's nice to say <laughs> I, I can run better than Ezra Miller. I can run faster and I and uh, look more like the Flash for sure. Even at my old age, that's right. Because I go to the gym. Uh, now we all can't look as good as Graham Nolan, Daddy Graham. You know, Daddy always Graham. flexing. Da- da- Daddy Graham doesn't miss leg leg day either. Uh, good no, for sir. you, by the way. <laughs> you got to keep the the hips and legs strong as you get old. Uh, yeah, you. Yes, uh-huh. you. Do, <laughs> dude. Yeah, After you long, know, the, the mirror muscles are nice, you know. But uh, yeah, the the key is keeping those that that uh, lower chain strong. Absolutely. Here down, dude. Eighteen hours in a car, you feel that every. It's fucking brutal, and it's not as brutal because I go to the gym. Right. Uh, yeah. You know what? What's a sign of age when you turn on the seat warmer and you're like, that feels so good for my muscles. Oh, yeah. my yep. back. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Seat warmers are like stuff I would like scoff at and now I adore them. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't I don't have them in my car, uh, but m- my wife's got them. My car's too old. Uh and I'm too cheap to buy a new car. So uh, Zach, I, I'd just rather spend it on action figures, to be honest with you. Uh, Zachary. <laughs> there's, there's the truth. There's there. the truth. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, Zings for $50. <laughs> Says, hey, guys. I took my mother to watch Godzilla Minus One two weeks ago, and we nice. loved it. Oh, mom liked it, too. Nice. That's nice. Uh, she has been a Godzilla fan since she was a little girl in the 60s. When we left the theater, she saw the Marvels poster and said it was the worst movie she has seen. Base mom. <laughs> Love mom. Oh my gosh. Uh, I did buy three copies of the Marvel's poster. I'll buy some more. And I have hand drawn the ass <laughs> and the legs in the air, like I did for my meme. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a it's I you know I, I wish I can give one to every member, but we're gonna give some stuff to random members and uh, and hold off one for something else. But uh, they are they, and I'm framing one. Because, uh, quite frankly, I have my second best month on YouTube thanks to the Marvels. So, thank you. Uh, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> uh, uh, that one Ginger Draven for nineteen ninety nine on the Lord of the Rings stream. You mentioned The Crow was a great comic book movie. Yes. Could you argue that it's also a superhero movie? He's got superpowers. That, yes, he's a superhero. He's, a, he's an anti-hero, but he's, he's a superhero. Or is it possible that the comic book movies can never uh, have different genres? No, comic book movies are supposed to have different genres. Absolutely. They're supposed to. And they don't play into that. That's how fucking stupid Hollywood is. Comic, You could adapt comic books till the end of time. They're not all superheroes. They, there's horror comics. There's pulp-like comics. Uh, I don't know why oh, somebody hasn't even bothered bringing back The Shadow. Like, The Shadow would be a good TV show. It would make a yeah. good movie. I think it would make a better TV show. Yeah, um, I agree. TV show. They're going to see if Alec Baldwin was free again, but apparently his trigger discipline was not. Well, did you see him arguing with the Palestinian protester on the streets oh. of New York? I was oh, like, well, no. e- easy guy. He might shoot you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but he, he, he said... He said something like, everyone no. should, should not have a fear of going into work or something. And I was just like, oops. Right? No, but he also said, why are you asking me that? I'm a Hollywood actor. (laughs) It's like, you've never held your opinions before, asshole. Yeah, really. (laughs) All of a sudden, you're quiet on the Palestinian-Israeli thing. I wonder why. (laughs) (laughs) Ask your friend Susan Sarandon, uh, who got fired by her fucking agency immediately. It's like... uh, Read the did room. Did she take a pro-Palestinian stance? She did. I, I would say, go no, don't read the room. Read who signed your fucking checks, you dipshits. Wow. 
Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. And oh, she well. immediately apologized. Immediately. Oh, well. Yep. Yeah. These, well leftists, I... these leftists can't help themselves. They, nope. they, no. immediately go, they immediately go to the left and not don't think, don't critically think about what it is that they're going towards. And in this case, it's like, you know what? Well, and, this and is a no-brainer. This is the biggest expose, right? Because the left has tried to get... Uh, it's it's a very loose alliance of people who would normally not like each other. So uh, the de very devout Muslims, right? And like, you know, there's a lot of good Muslims in the world, uh, but they might not really be down with the whole transgender teaching. Your, and it turns out that's the case. One, some of the biggest protests, what's going on in schools are coming from Armenians, are coming from Mus who, who are Christian, uh, Muslims, uh, and, and they're aligning to go against this fucking weird shit, especially teaching uh, uh, sex of any kind to fucking kindergartners, you yeah. know, like, uh, and, and that that's a that's fucking great, by the way. I think it's fucking awesome to see people coming together, at least for that. Right. Uh, and uh, we talked earlier. <laughs> That's that's the hill Hollywood and Disney is going to die on because that reputation you have Hollywood that nasty reputation that you you know throw kids into a meat grinder and and worse uh, is earned. You've earned it. I've not mm -hmm. seen a lot of people call it out. A lot of people go, it's you know what calling out blaming QAnon or saying it's right wing is not calling it out. You're dis you're you're dismissing it as nothing when it is the biggest open secret that town has ever had ever yeah so yeah you want to change that reputation start fucking calling it out and stop grooming kids i, I that would be my my suggestion but they don't I want i can't it. wait for quiz of palestine quiz for palestine to go to jerusalem that's gonna be such good fun right it's gonna work out fine for them well you know they say from the river to the sea but for them it would be from the top of the building to from the, the top of the building to the bottom of to the ground the building. yep yeah uh george the giant slayer for one hundred dollars, George. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, Drinker did a great video yesterday on Lord of the Rings twentieth anniversary. We, I, I had a great time on the live stream. Uh, lots of great feedback. It was supposed to be a couple hours. It went four. Uh, Mahler was there. It was, it was so it was much pretty fun. It was pretty fucking fun. Go check it out. George was there too. Thanks for being here. And then tomorrow. Yeah, Mahler's video comes out. I guess it's all of our video in a way, in a weird way. Well, I edited it with three other people. Um, I did the the like the, I don't know a third of it. Fringy did a third of it, and then the other two guys sort of did the the rest. It's a huge selection of all kinds of fucking things yeah. that all relate to Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's a. Uh, I think people are gonna love it if they love Lord of the Rings and they want to hear us geek out about it for eight hours in a row. Which, you know, I think there's one or two people out there who might be interested. Awesome. So, um, it's the EFAP movies format for those in chat if you're not familiar, but um, yeah. The extendeds as well, of course. In fact, we complain a lot about how many scenes we're looking at that aren't in the theatrical. Uh, yeah. And and then I looked up, I looked it up, and I was, I just for one movie, it was 78. 78 scenes. And then Robert, you know, it was wow. great having Robert there because he, he worked on the behind the scenes and he's like oh yeah there's an hour in there and there's and there's so much more uh before we get to your super chat i just thought of something george so i was on flashcast i've been do doing a lot of streaming and we went over like uh somebody's list reddit's list or whatever of fucking worst movies and they were kind of basing it on uh imdb ratings i believe sound of freedom was on that what? on the on 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 the list and five nights of freddy's were both on the list of worst movies of the year you know it wasn't on it ant-man the marvels any fucking Marvel Wait, movie. you mean the movie which, uh, by by the way, all I want for Christmas is the Epstein client list to be released. Uh, it's not much to ask <laughs> for, is it? Uh, you mean the movie that actually shone a light on, on child trafficking and shit like that in an industry that does a lot of child trafficking, uh, pedo shit. Uh, yes. They didn't like it. And they tried to call it QAnon, including Grace Randolph. Wow. Yeah, and the movie that uh, a lot of people liked. They were uh, moved by it. It made a lot of money. Uh, and yeah, that movie, uh, fuck off Hollywood. Fuck off back now down to George's nice super chat. Uh, Disney made a superhero movie without white men in the lead roles written by three quota Queens, 
Well, maybe it wasn't that nice, but this is my <laughs> this is my speed right here. So I'm liking it. It's nice for me. By three quota queens led by a big foot brie, a, a Marvel Twitter fan, and a diversity dartboard winner, directed by a woman that hates Captain America, and they thought they had gold. That's right. I didn't bring that up in my video, George. And you're right. Nia DaCosta hates Captain America. Anybody who says what they hate surprise. Captain America should never fucking work for Marvel. Ever. <laughs> Did did he say Bigfoot Bree? He did. Bree's got like nasty. <laughs> don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> don't, don't. Uh, then Santa gave him a lump of coal. My son, uh, my son's so great. He's, he walks up to me this morning and goes, Dad, did you know that lumps of coal were considered a good gift? In the 1800s, I'm all, <laughs> I'm all really? Probably. He's all, yeah. On the fire, burn them. Yeah, Get yeah. Warm. Warmth. He's, yeah, my, my son's always like random fucking trivia from like nothing we're talking about he just like will come up with it it's so good it's so great i love him yeah make it more efficient santa should poop in there in the little uh yes oh. the the naughty children with all the cookies santa, he's eating well, santa poop yeah. is probably like ice cream or something like that yeah fucking santa oh. Oh, no, that's gross i ain't gonna oh. try okay i ain't gonna try <laughs> what, you talking about some chocolate <laughs> ass cream there gary <laughs> Don't Softer. fucking disrespect ah. Santa on this show, okay? No. That was a kidding. disrespect. I don't know. Santa doesn't poop. He's talking about his ass cream. Uh, Captain Cardboard made Disney's board cry into their cans of Bud Light as the Marvels became the Mouse House's obituary. All hail and Merry Christmas to Gary and the Multiverse of Azes, Graham, Mahler, and Exude Girl. Merry Christmas to you, George. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna blab it, George. Uh, George is gonna be doing his first live stream soon, and uh, I'm gonna be there. Well, there's gonna be some rock stars there, man. <gasps> first, yeah, his first live stream. Time? His first live stream. I'll be there. I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. So proud. Ooh. I remember. I remember sitting down and chatting with him in Vegas a couple years ago. It's like I'm gonna start a channel. We, I'm like, just fucking do it. He's done a really, really good job at it. Uh, Meghan Markle videos. Yep. G-Man for $50. This is a movie about a group of black people who exist solely to serve the white race. I already have my Mike and Ikes. <laughs> Judging by the trailer, it will it will end uh it will end how it does in real life with the black on black violence fighting over white women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm reading the super chats that are written. It is my, I, I am obliged I to do it. To do it? I'm expressing to do it. To it. <laughs> Bro, Gary G, man. Oh, Matthew Hammond, $50 in three parts. Moving on. <laughs> Correct, Graham. Correcting Graham. No, what are you correcting Graham for, Matthew? Is there a Stargate what, what reference? He's all correcting Graham. Rush Limbaugh got it from a Los Angeles Times article. Uh, yeah, but Graham said that. Graham said he didn't come up with the term. He just used it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he used the term. The yeah. term was uh, coined uh, by, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, I said it before. Uh, the guy's drawing a blank. I'm, I'm having a Gary moment here. I can't remember the Jesse name. Jackson. Jesse Jackson. Thank you. Yeah. So it's 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 a Hollywood trope that goes way back. But he's saying that you got uh, that Rush got it from the Los Angeles Times article. Obama, the magical Negro. <laughs> that was that an article? Is that the same really? Los Angeles Times that called Larry Elder the black face of white supremacy? I think it is. I think yeah. it is. Uh, yeah, he, he's right uh, in that uh, he, uh, that. They called Obama the magic Negro, but I thought it was Jesse Jackson who said it first. And then the times picked up the article on it, but yeah. either way, either way, that trope know. goes way back, way, 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 yeah. way, way back into Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, the parody song was Barack. The, I don't want to say it again. Hang on. <laughs> the American society of magical Negroes. Uh, so the, uh, he did a parody song uh, sung to Pete the Magic Dragon. I <laughs> know. I, I think I remember that now. I remember that. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got shit for that, too. 
Uh, Rush, Rush Limbaugh was told he could not criticize Obama because of his race, so he created a segment where his black producer, Bo Snurdly, Mr. Yep. Snurdly, uh, would come in as the official Obama criticizer to criticize Obama. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Th- th- this intersectional CRT shit started with the Obama era as far as like it's always been kind of there. It's from academia, but it was really being implemented into corporations and films and culture from the Obama <laughs> administration. Uh, and, and it's very open. You know what? When did we start seeing all the weird PC shit going on at school with uh, yelling at professors and the fucking costumes it's during the Obama administration? That's when it started Start and, and started getting worse. Uh, Matthew Hammond for five dollars says Godzilla minus one has officially earned more in the U.S. than in Japan. Kaiju News outlet via Twitter X slash X. JJ Gosling for 20, 20 British pounds. That's proper money. I just wanted to thank you all. My mother died a year ago today. I'm very sorry. And in her final months, she found comfort in your streams. Oh, really? Uh, bless you all. And Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Merry Christmas. Oh. Wow, very very nice. RIP, mom. Mm-hmm. I'm glad uh, she found comfort in our streams. That's That means a lot, actually. Now this is going to be a a big swing, a big transition because we have. I should have switched it. I really should yeah, have. Yeah. Can, can we reread Smooth then in between? Yeah. Gifted five nerdorotic memberships for twenty five dollars. Smooth. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to get to Fear the Tardo. Fear the Tardo for fifty dollars. Oh. Graham, you're you're just going to be so delighted from this. Fear the Tardo. Uh. In in light of Jonathan Captain's verdict, Tardo want want remind everyone no kill strippers. Strippers stri- <laughs> strippers people too. Plus no point cause strippers already dead inside. <laughs> Ask sex paid girl, sex paid curl, no. Uh Merry Crispix to all and to all. Lock it in. Yay. Lock it in. <laughs> yay. yay. So there's a I'm guy. Sorry, Graham. I don't even know what language that was. Okay, so there's a, there's a guy. Uh, oh, I don't like big it. Spider-Man Two video game fan uh, named Fear the Beardo, uh, who works who is over at Geeks and Gamers. That's his parody account. But to be honest with you, Graham, I I see no difference between Fear the Beardo and Fear the Tardo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Beardo. I love you, man. <laughs> And he uh, sends in super chats like that. He does. You're like, why am I reading this? Uh, Gron for 200 Czechoslovakia. Oh, Prague pesos? Hello from Prague. Merry Christmas. I have not seen Godzilla yet, but I heard that she was pretty woke. If she stomp, uh, uh, if she stomps on you, your gender becomes fluid. I'll Ooh. give you that. Everything else becomes wow. fluid as well. <laughs> Ashaman for $50. It says one night while drinking heavily, a buddy of mine and I came up with a prequel pitch for Lord of the Rings that, uh, that we both agree would be way more interesting. Doing a drama of Avatar corrupting the Numenorians. It's not Avatar. It's Avatar. No, but uh, 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 could even do most of it in a jail cell would be cheap. Well, they did a Twilight Zone episode. The Howling Man? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. It's Anutar. It's Anutar. And uh, that would be good. I would still make that part of an epilogue and just do The War of the Last Alliance. That's what you could do an entire film trilogy on. If you could do it correctly, it would fucking work. It would be good. Uh, if you turned on CERN, went into another dimension where people aren't so fucking stupid um, in Hollywood. By the way, in Hollywood, you guys are great. But uh, yeah, we're 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 not even in the realm of like I I don't want anybody involved with Western entertainment to fucking touch anything I love anymore. Period. With the our exception of maybe Nolan or Matthew Vaughn, there's like two directors I'd let g- get anywhere near something I like. Um, and uh, that's that's it. I think 
I think the better stuff is going to come from the East for, for the time being right now. And, and they have this huge opportunity because they've been making shit. And there's a, there's a huge backlog of it. And now, you know, the streamers, Netflix is way ahead of everybody buying that shit up. And mm-hmm. we're going to start seeing more of it. Um, and One Piece, of course, Hollywood's going to learn all the wrong lessons from One Piece. But, like, it breaking of through was, was huge. Was huge. I, I thought I was going to watch 10 minutes of that and be out. And be like, I'm fucking done. This is weird. Uh, and I got sucked in. Uh, hey, Gary. Uh, just another red shirt for 1999 says, Hey Gary, I am a cop. I often refer to you, uh, refer you to people I meet on the job with substance abuse issues as an example of how it is possible for a person to find redemption and get one's life together. You guys, uh, are great. Keep it up. Oh, you're great. And thanks for, uh, doing what you do, buddy. It's a thankless job. It's a thankless job, especially with knuckleheads like me, you know, 30 years ago running around. But uh, thanks. I appreciate that. There is a path out. There is a path. It's a long path. It's not easy, but it, uh, it gets better, and it's way better than uh, being hung over every day, being strung out every day, being fucking sick, uh, being paranoid, uh, having drug dealers wanting to kill you. Uh, it's way, it, it, yeah, it, it's way better. What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. We're going to wrap it up there. What a hell of a show. Hell of a show today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do like, uh, we're going to do massive square ups at the end of the year. Okay. Because I'm, I'm doing my top five right now. I'm working on that today and tomorrow. And then we have, I don't even know if I'm going to review Aquaman, to be honest with you. I don't I mean, give a. Fun. Yeah, I think I'll talk about it on Friday Night Tights, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I'll just clip it. I haven't even seen the first one. I don't care. Oh, you didn't see the first one? You didn't want to kill all the crap people? Uh, oh. I haven't watched the first one either. So. Okay, so I saw the Should first I? one, and I walked out of it going, you know, I didn't hate it, and I can't remember a fucking thing from it. Tomorrow Morris I'll tell you what I remember. Like, nobody swims in the movie. No, they don't. Oh. They don't. They, they fly. They fly through the water. Yes, with they they, they don't swim with their farts. Yeah. I mean, they no, might they, as well. They're not doing this. Their legs aren't kicking. They just kind of just go whoop. <laughs> they don't even do this. You know? Nice. <laughs> they just fly under the water. How long does Jason Momoa have his shirt off in the whole movie? It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Probably a lot. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll but, watch it. But the fact is, Patrick Wilson, Patrick Wilson is Aquaman. That, that, like that he's the one who should be playing Aquaman. I know everybody loves Jason Momoa, but he doesn't look anything like Aquaman. He doesn't look anything like Peter David's Aquaman. You know, he was acceptable, but uh, Patrick Wilson is the guy who looks like fucking Aquaman. He should be playing Aquaman, but he's not. True. I could see it. Well, yeah, because he looks exactly like him. <laughs> he's a tall oh, blonde yeah, dude. Yeah. Him. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I wish they'd give him the Jim Aparo hair. Where you know he's shaved kind of short all the way around, but on the the front part, it's it it's all out like this, which was great because as an artist, that means you can draw motion with it. You know, with like it, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Hair would go, or he just standing there. The hair's going this way because the tide is going that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Oh well, uh, apparently no red carpet, nothing with the movie. They just had Jason Momoa and uh, Juan, the director, at a small screening. Uh, and that was it. There's no press junket, no interviews, nothing. They're just, uh, they, they, they're, you know, this is going to be the very first box office plop. And I'm going to use that until the end of time. Why would you waste? <laughs> seriously, though, why would you waste any more marketing money? I, no. Why would you? Yeah. I, they, the only, uh, like, Marvel's going to experience the same thing. They're going to have to do, they're going to obviously have to shift their strategy, but they still have shitty things to put out. And every time you put out something shitty, Graham knows this. Graham's been in the comic industry his entire life. He's seen a lot of bad ideas. And he's seen what bad ideas do to your characters and stories and how long it takes to recover from certain bad ideas that are particularly bad. It takes years. Um, and uh, it's brand damage. It's overall brand damage. It's just, and it's, it's, it sucks, but it's over. It's over, Johnny. 
Uh, the, Hollywood will move on. Hollywood's going to move on to something cheaper. Um, and, uh, you know, they're not even going to be the most prominent thing anymore. All right, Az, what do you got coming up? Uh, tomorrow, ripping the silverback over on Eric July's channel, where we'll be talking stuff and things. Uh, and uh, I, I might do a stream after this. I might, I might do a Miss Survival stream now Ooh. over on my channel. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. <laughs> You just finished it yet. Do the DLC. Do the DLC. I right. I did. I got to. I I was doing the DLC, and I got to uh, a boss where it's two two like creatures underground, and I was fighting them, and I was like wigging and woking, and I eventually, I eventually managed to get both of them down. I was like, yeah, and then they just the combined into it. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah. oh, fuck. I had no pots, nothing. I was like, that would have been so funny on the stream that you see in that. <laughs> Because everyone knows yeah! that. Someone... Oh, fuck off. Gary, you wouldn't understand. It's two two Balrogs become a big Balrog, basically. Yeah. Ooh. And it took all my all my healing just to beat the two Balrogs. And then I thought I'd won the fight. And then it they combined to big Balrog and laughed at me. They yeah. double teamed you? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, Balrogs. they, they, they yeah. transitioned into a bigger Balrog. Uh huh. Bal Balrogger? -er? Balrogger, oh. bal guy, mm. bal guy. There you go. There's the plural. <laughs> <laughs> bal guy. Uh, all right, uh, Mahler. Six p.m. GMT. That's the the British time right now. On the Moolah channel, it'll begin the adventure through all three Thank standard you. Lord of the Rings movies. There's a big old watch party, but with a lot of editing and a lot of cuts for for the entertainment value and plenty of visuals to support right like so it's an eight hour watch along but you don't have to have the movie you just need the video that's kind of the point i imagine that it'll be really fun to watch live with a whole bunch of people those people worked really hard on it something that we wanted to do for the 20th anniversary we missed the day by three days i think or four but you know what that's okay <laughs> like we we still got it out close enough to it and in a hundred years no one will know the difference no one will know but, the difference um, we hope to see you there. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll end, I guess it'll end at 2 a.m. British time if it starts at 6 p.m. British time. So that's kind of funny. Cool. That's cool. It shall be epic. It shall be epic. Uh, X-Ray Girl, what do you got coming up? Ooh, uh, tonight on Poor Choices, we're airing our uh, recording of Odin on Dadcast. So that'll be really fun. So You only dad anywhere. on the planet Earth? He's the, yeah, only, the dad. only one. It took that long to get to him. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm going to be playing some Genshin Imp Impact tonight. So if you like anime waifus, uh, you should watch on my channel. Awesome. And Graham Nolan from Compass Comics, thank you for coming on. What do you have coming up for the fine folks? Graham was great today. Yeah, boy. Give him some love. Thanks. Uh, I'm I'm in between campaigns right now. I'm busy uh, waiting for uh, the uh, print uh, the uh, proofs to come back from the printer for Ghost of Maticumba Key. So, you know, not really pushing anything other than coming out here to hang out with you guys and have some fun. If any of you guys missed my previous books, you can find everything at CompassComics.com. Uh, if you're interested, just take a look over there. Uh, and new stuff's coming up later in the year, and I'll be talking about that then. But Right now, we're getting ready for the holidays and just hanging out with friends and having a great time. So, Chibui. thanks, guys. It's it's so good. Thank I, you. I watched, I saw your uh, Thanksgiving photo with your family and stuff that oh. you put on Twitter. And it's like, wow, yeah. look, a normal comic artist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Grand nice. Nolan. Mark Grand, Way. I know, Grand right? Nolan. Graham wow. Nolan with his family looks healthy, looks happy. Post Thanksgiving yeah. photos. Mark Wade. Yeah. Likes his yeah, woman psycho. bagged and boarded. I got, I got my first grandbaby coming. Oh, uh, whoa. Granddad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you. That's a reason Super to have excited. a cigar. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Well, you're welcome back anytime, man. I love oh, streaming with you. I appreciate you. that. Love, right. love hanging with you guys. We appreciate it as well. Uh, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I just released the video, and I'm going to start working mm -hmm. on more videos. 
uh, my end of the year, my end of the year video. I've gotten all the votes in. It's it's really tough. It is really tough. I had to give it a good think. Uh, but we have the top five ready to go. Well, I have my top five. It's in my head. I haven't gotten it to Perry yet, but it'll it'll get to Perry soon. So that'll be it. And uh, Friday Night Tights with uh, Disbrew and Mahler. Uh, yeah. I got the Nooner tomorrow with Chris Gore. Chris Gore is the one who saw um, Rebel Moon, by the way. Said it wasn't good. Uh, and uh, yeah. But he said it, it wasn't. <laughs> can I can I quote this from Chris? Can I quote? Yeah, you he right? said he said you could. He says, it's not total shit. It's just <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a quote from Chris Gore on Rebel Moon. <laughs> that needs to be on the fucking poster. <laughs> Film threat. <laughs> it's not total shit. It's just shit. Film oh threat. God. <laughs> I can't wait. It's gonna be great. What is that hour? Is it for us? It's like Friday morning. Um, a couple of days. Yeah, I think. I think Friday yeah. morning. Thursday late at night. Rebel Moon. Oh no, it's Button Moon. I love the idea that I'll be watching Rebel Moon jumping right into Friday Night Tides just to just to talk about it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Enjoy. So oh, wonderful. If uh, I will be doing for the members a, a lot, I'll be watching it with y'all. So uh, we'll be doing a little watch party for Rebel Moon or Watch Wake, <laughs> whatever we want to call them. But uh, we'll be doing that with the members. So, all right. Uh, See you next time, everybody. It'll be on Az's channel next week. And uh, shenanigans will ensue. I'll be in a hotel room. Ooh. Will you? Boxing uh, day. Oh, uh, uh, because it's you're going yeah. to go see your mom, right? Yeah. Oh, well, give my, give my, give my love to Az's mom. As I mom. will. Yeah. All right. Uh, bye. Yeah, we God damn, Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadence, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Yeah. <laughs>